All right, good afternoon, everybody. Thank you for joining us. This is Sherry, your presenter, your host for today. Uh, for tr today's Traders Exclusive webinar, we've got four trading experts that are gonna show you how to use unusual option activity to find trends, get consistent wins in the currency market, trade using VWAP strategy, and gauge momentum with a simple two-step system. So please check our website, tradersexclusive.com, where we regularly post articles and video clips with valuable trading tips and techniques. This is also where you're going to find today's uh, webinar recording. And before I get started, uh, we, we need to go over the disclaimer. We always need to go over the disclaimer. So uh, you should carefully consider whether trading is suitable for you in light of your circumstances, knowledge, and financial res resources, excuse me, you may lose all or more of your initial investment. Opinions, market data, and recommendations are subject to change at any time. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. And uh, just for today, please take notes and write your questions down and add a little context to it because most of our presenters would prefer to have all the questions at the end. Um, and that way they can keep the thread of their presentation going. They only have 45 minutes to give you what they've got and um, we don't want you to miss anything. So I'd like to introduce our first speaker, Andrew Keene of Alpha Shark. He's gonna bring us secrets from a professional trader. Andrew is an options trader who focuses on unusual options activity. He's been featured on CNBC, Bloomberg, and Fox Business. Keen's first love will always be trading, but he is arguably even more well-known for building a trading room. And Andrew is especially proud of having taught his personal strategies to over 50,000 students over the past four years. So let me just bring Andrew. I love it when my screen starts popping around and you think it's going to do one thing and then it does something else. So I'm going to make you the presenter, Andrew, and take it away. Hey, what's going on? How's everybody doing? Andrew in the house. Um, this is a shortened webinar for me. Very rarely do I do webinars um, that are 45 minutes, but I'm going to go really and then if you can mute yourself too, because I can hear you in the background, that'd be great. Um, I have a lot of material to kind of go over today, which is exciting. Uh, I'm gonna show you Option Hacker real time and live. I'll show you the signals today. We've had some really, really great signals on a proprietary based scanner. My name is Andrew Keen. <clears throat> I'm a full-time trader and educator. Um, I've been in this space for almost two decades. Here's an example of a trade you could have taken in DKS, Dick Sporting Good. Some traders somewhere in the world came in and bought call options for 75 cents. Those went to $4. And the great thing about buying options is your risk is to zero. So if you buy an option for 75 cents or $75 per one lot, uh, those went up to $4. That's 600% profit. So like when you buy a stock, it can only go to zero. It can go up to infinity. Like, you know, Bitcoin, you could have bought for 5,000, went to 50,000. Tesla, you could have bought for, I don't know, 50 bucks and went to 900. So here is an example of an option that went from 75 cents or $75 per one lot to $400 per one lot. Uh, I am one of the top traders in the world. That is quote unquote, uh, in my opinion, um, I can't really technically say I am, I am, but if you ask me, I think I'm one of the best traders there are. I've made millions of dollars in my trading career. I've taught about a million students have, have trade. So post about a million people have watched my videos. I've hosted over a thousand live webinars. This is a live webinar. If you have questions, please feel free to ask them at the end of the presentation. Uh, contributor on CNBC, Bloomberg, Fox Business, uh, WCIU, TheStreet.com, Forbes, you kind of name it, I've been on it. Little risk disclaimer, uh, we've put this in here at all times, day trading, short-term trading, option trading, and future tradings are extremely generally a risky undertaking. They are not appropriate for someone with little capital little to no trading experience or a low tolerance of risk. Uh, never execute a trade unless you're willing and prepared to lose your entire investment. I am not a registered investment advisor. I cannot give recommendations or advice. What I can do is offer my opinion, which obviously I think that's more much more valuable. But what you try to, what you do with these signals is up to your own and I cannot tell you to do with, tell you what to do with your capital. 
This is called the proof is in the pudding slide. This is my PL statement from, I think this is 2008. I can't really say if it's 2008. Uh, you can see here my profit and loss was about $3.4 million. Um, and you can see here, this is before commission, seat lease payment for order flow. Um, and you can see my name is actually on the account. My name is Andrew Keen. I traded and cleared through Goldman Sachs. They were my clearing company. Uh, they're actually no longer clear options anymore. And you can see Keen Andrews totally loose with the group that I traded for. So that 3.4 million before seat lease payment for order flow commissions. Um, and then also uh, before my split. And I think at that time I was on an 80-20 split where I got 80% of all the money I made. But this is kind of what how much money I made using the same idea and concept, which is following institutional order flow in the option market. In March 2003, almost 16 years ago, I started trading the strategy. I'm going to teach you today. And at the end of the presentation, I'm going to show you the scanner in real time and live. I'll give you a trade that just hit the tape about 15 minutes ago. We've had four signals today that have hit the scanner. And we have had, I think, four winners today that have hit the scanner. Um, so, so four trades have hit the scanner, four winners today that have hit the scanner. This strategy is designed to beat the hedge funds through probability, through what we call unusual option activity, institutional order flow in the option market. So we're watching the biggest and best traders put on trades and we try to mimic their positions. We can think of it one of two things. We can think of it as following the smart money, or we can think of it as piggybacking the biggest and best traders in the world. After trading this strategy for almost two decades, 19 years, there's been consistent patterns of profitability. The real breakthrough came when we noticed how to better our exit strategies. Option Hacker, which is our proprietary based scanner. You can actually not physically buy it right now unless you're on a webinar because we are completely sold out on our website. I'll actually show you it. This isn't like a... Um, a marketing gimmick we are actually physically sold out on our website so if you go to optionhacker.com we have a wait list of about 50 people begging us right now to buy option hacker okay so you see right here completely sold out i wish i could say this is a marketing ploy to get you to buy in this webinar but that is actually not true we are 100 percent sold out on the web uh on the website if you came you click the wait list you would have to get in the wait list and we're not going to release any spots for about a month so you can see here, 449, people are begging us to buy it. And we're not even actually selling it to them. It was between 40 and 50 people on the wait list. Option Hacker gave us hidden clues. The stock was about to take off to the upside or the downside. For example, on June 4th, 2021, Tiva experienced the two conditions and the stock took off to the upside. Here's the Option Hacker signal literally copy and paste from our scanner some trader somewhere in the world we never know their stock or option position buy 1600 <clears throat> tva january 29 2021 10 calls for 40 cents this is the right but not obligation to control 160,000 shares of tiva between now and <clears throat> january 29th expiration on the 10 strike they paid 40 cents for this option well, let's see what happened. The Tiva, January 29th, 10 call, increased 300%. $200 invested in the signal, guys. That's it. It's 200 bucks. Turn into $800. Maybe you're a little bit of a bigger trader. $1,000 invested in the signal. Turn into $4,000. Option Hacker Signal, S-U-M. Uh, so I call it Summit Materials, 1400 SUM, January 15th, 2021, 22 and a half calls were bought for 25 cent debit. This is the right, but not obligation to control 140,000 shares <clears throat> of SUM between now and January 15th expiration on the 22 and a half strike. So some trader somewhere in the world has the right to buy stock. Let's see what happens to SUM. The January 4th, 2021, when Summit Materials experienced two bullish conditions, SUM raged to the upside. 
the SUM call option increased 850%. Just $200 invested in the signal. That's it, guys. They can only go to zero. Went up to $1,900. Maybe a little bit of a bigger trader. $1,000 invest in the signal. Turn into $8,550. Option Hacker was used to create what we call as unusual option activity. And I'll show you guys the signals from today. There's been uh, four trades. One was 67% profit. One was 40% profit. One was unchanged. Actually, two of them were like 5% profit. Here's a signal, JP Morgan. Trader buys January 8th, the 128 calls for 99 cents. So this is the ripen obligation to control 68,000 shares of JP Morgan between now and January 8th expiration. And for that right, they paid about 99 cents. Let's see what happens. When option hacker triggered unusual option activity, the stock often experienced a significant move. When JP Morgan experienced a bullish unusual option activity setup, the JP Morgan January 8, 128 calls increased 900%. The JPM call options increased 900%. $250 turned into $2,250. Maybe you're a little bit of a bigger trader. $1,000 turned into $9,000. When unusual option activity appears, stocks often have big moves and options jump in value. These options can make big profits when stocks experience big moves. And right now, we are getting huge, massive moves. Over the weekend, the S&P 500 futures were up over 30 points. Today, they were down 30 points. VIX is above 20. That's hot, okay? This is the perfect opportunity to be trading this kind of strategy and philosophy. Buying call and put options is the perfect way to cash in when stocks are likely to make big moves. Based off our two golden rule setup, we name this unusual option activity. Unusual option activity not only forecasts directions, but also predicts when a stock is likely to make a big move. And big price moves are what make options explode in value. Pairing the two golden rule and UOA for trading power. This is what I learned from the biggest hedge fund managers in the world. So I used to be the one of the biggest traders in the Apple pit. And the first week, Merrill Lynch broker comes in here and sells us Apple put spreads. So they're selling put spreads. That means they're getting long. Stock goes up in value. Next week, they come in. They sell us more Apple put spreads. Stock goes up in value. Next week, they come in. They sell us more Apple put spreads. Stock goes up in value again. So what happens? Every time they got long, stock went up. So I just started following all their positions. When they got long, I got long. When they got short, I got short. And I made close to a million dollars in two separate years just from following this order flow. So then I started following this order flow in other stocks and just kept making more money and more money and more money. I watched this one scanner. I pay $500 a month for this scanner. Okay. And this scanner spits out 1,200 trades a day, eight to 1,200 trades. It is nearly impossible to figure out what are the speculative trades. So we have created a scanner that takes all the legwork out for you. It is called Option Hacker. The only place in the world I have an NDA signed. You can purchase it is through this webinar, okay? You can't buy it on the website. We're sold out on the website. These were the three signals for today. GSAT, March, three and a half calls, 
35 cents. These went up in value to 55 cents. So if you got in the signal at 35, you sold them at 55, that's about 67% profit. Maybe a little bit less, 60% profit. <clears throat> PRMW, these hit at 46. These went up to 70. That is good for about 40% profit. These two signals haven't really moved yet. This one's up about 3%. And this one's about unchanged. So four signals that hit the tape, guys, in the option market, okay? The first one, 60% profit from high to low. PRMW, 40% profit. This one, 3% profit. And this one hasn't moved yet. I like GOLD to the long side. I think GLD goes higher. You can get into this trade right now if you want, okay? $110, that's it. You can get into this signal right now. You can buy the GOLD April 1st. 2021, 21 calls for a dollar ten. Right this second, you can get them at a dollar ten. These have already moved. You can't get into these. Maybe you made money on these signals already. Okay, four signals hit the tape. Three winners, and the one trade is basically unchanged. And you can get in that one one that hasn't moved yet right now at around one ten. So these are the four signals, guys. These are hypothetically the best signals of the day based on institutional order flow in the option market, okay? There's nowhere else in the world you can find a scanner like this that will dissect, you know, there's billions of trades every single day that go through the market, okay? And how do you know which ones are potentially good trades? This is what the scanner does for you. In the early 2003s, a trading firm called Boda Capital Management, B-O-T-T-A, taught me this highly speculative trading strategy. <clears throat> this trading was so important that I left the trading firm and went to another firm. They were going to sue me for about $150,000. And here I am, broke, living in my parents' house in my brother's old bedroom. And this firm says, hey, we're going to teach you how to trade. But if you take this information, and you don't trade for us because we make money off your commissions, we're going to sue you for $150,000. Like that sounds terrible. So what did I do? I studied and I studied and I studied and then I studied even more. Every single day I study the option market. You know, if I sell a credit put spread on my long or short gamma, most people don't know. I can ask you guys the question. I would guess, you know, 80% of you are going to get it wrong. If I sell a credit put spread on my long or short gamma, you guys can ponder that one. So I studied every single day to make millions of dollars in the market. Sometimes it's weird for me to say that I'm a multimillionaire, not from a trust fund, not from running a business. I was multimillionaire from trading derivatives and options. This trading became known as what we call unusual option activity. What this firm discovered turned dozens of graduating college kids like myself in two millionaires. But what was really intriguing was the combining the golden rule often produce superior results. Four signals today, guys. You couldn't have got these signals anywhere else in the world, to my knowledge. I mean, you'd have to go through every 8,700 publicly traded companies, I think 3,700 of them with options in them, okay? This gives you the best potential four signals of the day. And you can get in the last signal right now in GOLD at 110 right now, okay? This one, 35 to 55. This one, 46 to 70. This one, maybe they're worth 210 right now, 203, whatever. And this one, you can still get in, okay? You'd have to decipher, you'd have to go through every single option chain across every single um, stock and name. The accuracy of these patterns with unusual option activity added to them increased the probability of highly explosive trade setups. And today, Option Hacker follows the same exact things I was taught by this trading firm 18 years ago. Kind of weird for me to say that I graduated college. I'm actually having my 20 year, uh, 20 year anniversary of graduating college. This May, I graduated in 2001. So this uh, year is my 20 years that I graduated college. And all I've done for the last 20 years, back test. Well, I don't do the back testing, but someone does it for me. <laughs> back test trade, teach, educate, webinar, watch 
as much CNBC as humanly possible. When the two bullish rules lined up for Data Incorporated, stock took off to the upside. Option hacker, literally copy and paste, guys, from our scan. Okay. Trader buys 2,315 DAN, February 19th, 2021, 20 calls for $1.24. This is the right but not obligation to control 231,000 shares of DAN between now and February expiration on the 20 strike. For this, they paid $1.25. If we did the math, it's about a $300,000 bet. Is, am I doing this? Am I buying $300,000 worth of calls? Absolutely not. But some traders somewhere in the world, we never know their stock or option position, is buying $300,000 worth of calls. The DAN, DAN, February 19th, 2021, 20 call option, increased 250%. $100 turned into, that's $350, not $3,500. $350, dollars invested, maybe a little bit of a bigger trader, turned into $3,500. When the two bullish rules lined up for Billy, B-I-L-I, Billy rallied hard. The Billy, January 19th, 115 call option, increased 600% in two days, guys. $250 turned into $1,500. $1,000 turned into $6,000. When the two bullish rules lined up for Baba, B-A-B-A, -B -A, stock rallied hard. They bought the January 22nd, 245 calls. They went up 300%. 250 turned into 1,000. 1,000 turned into $4,000. Simple, easy, concrete. Anybody can do this. Okay, We have people that have never traded an option before in their life getting in the scanner and just following the rules. If you want to use the proprietary-based targets, you can. Those are just a mathematical equation. Those are one and a half and two times what you pay for the option, okay? One and a half and two times what you pay for the option. Simple, it's easy, it's concrete. You can do that right now, guys, okay? You can get the scanner. Like I said, we're 100% sold out online. You can, and when you buy it today, go check in a week. We'll still be sold out. We're not making it available. We have a waiting list of about 50 people wanting to get in. The two patterns behind unusual option activity that make up some of our biggest winners. Number one, surging buyers in the option market, either bullish or bearish. We're looking for stocks that have an asset criteria of unusual option activity to the upside or the downside. If I showed you that p &L statement from, um, from before, uh, you can see here, um, you can see this, this is a simulated account. I do trade on real dollar and real, uh, real data. I am down today. You can see setup, uh, application settings, system i trade on real data this is a simulated account the only reason i trade a simulated account so i don't buy the option and sell it to my own customers so i don't take any of those signals myself so you have a chance to get in because i'm a massive trader as you can see here i'm up fifty-seven thousand dollars on my simulated account just this year guys um which has been amazing and there's been trades that are losers today i'm actually down money bed bath and beyond has really hurt me today unusual option activity must be present in the option market as the original hint that a stock is about to take off. We do not, I predict, we do not try to predict when unusual option activity will hit. I was actually doing another webinar and GOLD literally hit as I was giving a presentation. We don't not try to predict when they're going to hit. We have no idea. This runs all day long. I always think the first signal is always the best signal, but that's not always necessarily true. We then discovered that the charts line up to make an average trader thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars. I might have to fast forward a little bit. Therefore, Option Hacker ignores any news, okay? Who cares what the news is? Who cares that gold's down, bear gold's down today? Someone's buying about $400,000 worth of calls, okay? I don't know who Carl, Carl Icahn does not know me. But if Carl Icahn was to text me, said, AK, I'm gonna buy $400,000 worth of uh, GOLD calls. Do you want to pin, do you want in for a piece of the action? Maybe for 100 bucks, 300 bucks, 500 bucks. Oh, you're Carl Icahn, of course. Okay. All we're following is the, the smart money, guys. We're following smart money. Here's Baba, call options. Let's keep going. We also found that unusual option activity often supercharges the chart for optimal trade setup. 
the charts to find the price action that we define as option hacker. Then we use a little bit of technical analysis. I'm not a CMT, but we use a lot, a little bit of technical analysis here. When bullish conditions line up, we look to buy call options. Okay, right now option hacker only has calls. We do not have any puts in there, but we look to buy call options. Usual option activity can also be bearish. What? It's possible, yes. Bearish predicts when a stock is going to drop like a rock. For bearish, we look at unusual option activity. So we're just looking for massive, massive calls or puts being bought in the market. That is it. Okay, massive, massive calls or puts being bought in the market. When all triggers line up, we get bullish signals. Also can be bearish. When option sag signals occur, they seek to forecast a big move in the stock. Baba gave us that signal. 300% profit. $100 turns into $400. $1,000, maybe a little bit of a bigger trader, turns into $4,000. When double A, Alcoa, had unusual option activity, stock took off to the upside. This was the signal that we saw. Trader buys 15,000, double A, August 24th, 45 calls for 55 cent debit. $750,000 bet. And this is when I used to take the signals with real money. Now that my following is so big and we have so many people on Option Hacker, I do not take any of the signals for 24 hours. So you guys get a chance to get in. I can't even take them with real money because my influence status has gotten that big. So here we see AA calls, $4,000 profit. You know how long that took me? About four hours. Imagine what you'd do if you had an extra $4,000. Sorry, it's about $3,800, $3,850. Uh, if you had $3,800 profit, do you pay off some credit card debt? Maybe go on a little vacay. Maybe you'd go, I don't know. What would you do if you had an extra $3,800? Just close your eyes and envision it. Maybe go on a vacation. Get out of the Texas cold. When Electronic Arts had the golden rule and knew the stock was going to take off, here is EA, $3,000 profit. That took nine minutes. I remember that trade. Nine minutes, real money, real time, live. 250 turned to 750, 1,000 turned to 3,000. Unusual option activity, trading system essentials. If big moves in stocks can make big money trading options. And if our risk is always limited to what we pay for the price of an option, then it's possible that unusual option activity may, may be the ultimate trading strategy. In fact, this breakthrough strategy could be one of the best ways to trade we have ever seen. The best thing about unusual option activity, it's simple to trade. My father's 71 years old, turns 72 next uh, in April, April 30th. Um, and you know he takes some of these trades. He does not use his cell phone. He does have a cell phone. He doesn't use it. He leaves it off. <laughs> he doesn't use his cell phone. <clears throat> he doesn't use his cell phone. He also has a hearing aid. Okay, 72 years old. But he takes some of these signals. Okay, these are the signals from today, guys. If you followed in these signals, when they hit the tape, okay? Look, I can show you this too. This is really cool. So let me go to Finviz. So Finviz, if I go to Screener, this is how many stocks there are, okay? There's 7,800 stocks, 7,800 stocks. If we went to optionable, there is, ooh, optionable, there is 4,518 stocks with options. Billions of trades every day. How do you know which ones are going to be the good signals and which ones aren't? You're going to go through every single option chain to see volume versus open interest, to see delta, to see nominal value of a trade. Are you going to watch this scanner that spits out 1,200 trades a day? No, it's impossible. Look at this. All day long. You have to be trading for at least a decade to understand it makes sense for this. Or you can get these right here on Option Hacker. One, two, three, four signals, guys. This one, 35 to 55. This one, 46 to 70. This one's unchanged. And this one, I still like the signal. You can get into it right now at 110. 
So that takes 4,800 uh, stocks and condenses it into the best potential setups. Does that mean every trade is going to make money? No. There's going to be a lot of trades that lose money. But there's a reason we're sold out of it right now on the website is we want to limit how many users are can get into it. What really convinces the power of real-time trades. This is an example of how I made $12,000 in six weeks on a $25,000 cash account. So we had someone call the office and say, AK, I know you're a great trader. Great. But I can't trade on a $200,000 account. How could I trade on a smaller account? So we started this account and this account um, went up and made $11,000 in six weeks before commissions. A mere $2,000 in each trade would have made $24,000. Now it's important to understand that some trades will be losing, make will be losing trades. What? Yes, it's true. Some trades actually will not make money. No trading strategy in the world wins 100% of the time. I'm actually taking a class from Oxford University in the UK on algorithm of trading strategies um, to maybe automate some trading strategies, but I'm only in module two. No trade wins 100% of the time, but it's okay to find 50% losers. If you're finding huge winners, 333%, 550%, okay? If you have four, five trades on, the first four trades is $1,000 each and you're down $4,000, but then the next trade makes you $10,000, you would have a 25%, a 20% win rate, but your PL would be higher. That's what our strategy is. Limit the losers and go big for the winners. So you say to yourself, AK, this sounds amazing. I am in. How do I get unusual option activity course? Out of our 10,000, so I've sold over 10,000 educational courses. This is our number one selling course. It's simple enough. My father, who's 71 years old, turned 72 in April, takes some of the signals, okay? Does that mean he takes all the signals? No, but he does take some of the signals. And best of all, we will target trades like this. CNQ, $32,000. Gilead, $16,000. Halliburton, $16,000. These are all real-time, real money, and they're my own money. Okay. CNQ, SEP 36 call option, increase 400%. $100 invested in the signal turned into $500, maybe a little bit of a bigger trade, $1,000 turns into $6,000. As we can see here, it's simple, it's easy, it's concrete, guys. The Melco October 23 call option increased 300%. $100 turned into $400. Maybe a little bit of a bigger trader. $1,000 turned into $4,000. We can see here, boom to the upside. FEYE call option, not only maybe $8,000, but they also mentioned them on CNBC three hours after Option Hacker fly, flagged this trade. Here's real p &L, real money, my own money, $7,000 profit. So I had a couple positions on 200, 600, 200, and 7,300. Then three hours later, but by that time it was too late. They were mentioned on CNBC. They said, hey, there's a big buyer of FEYE. About it half an hour after it was mentioned on CNBC, they announced a partnership with Microsoft. Okay, what happened? Calls exploded in value after the fact that they hit our scanner. Best thing about this, I was going to the Hamptons. Okay, if you guys know where the Hamptons is, it's where all the rich hedge fund managers go. I'm too cheap to pay for the, the blade, which is like $1,500 each way. So I'm on a $37 bus ride, sitting in the back, making $8,000, okay? I'm on a bus and I made eight grand on that bus ride. Sounds pretty good, right? We want you to master unusual option activity. So you're gonna get my new master course, options, top to bottom. In the UA master course, I'll walk you through the trading system, soup to nuts. 
everything you see here, along with clear examples, will be available to you. Unusual option activity, master course, made easy to understand for normal traders. SAS, condition number one, unusual option activity. Condition number two, consolidation, continuation, reversal patterns. Pattern examples, call option examples, put option examples. You're going to also get my option size and calculator, my non-blowout trading plan, and my confidence scale, plus a list of the best and worst stocks to trade. So like I said, if you go to our website, optionhacker.com, you can see here, it is completely sold out. This is not a marketing ploy. If you go to it in a week, it'll be sold out. If you want, you can be clicked to add it to the waiting list. There's about 40 to 50 people that are begging to buy for it, buy right now for 449. We're not giving it to them for 49. We're saying, hey, you have to come to a webinar and listen to the whole presentation, okay? Otherwise, you don't get it. We don't care. We're turning down people, believe it or not, at 449 a month. But we want to get everybody in today that wants to get in. I showed you guys the demo of Option Hacker. These are real signals in real time, okay? These come straight from the trading floor. You can get it in GLD still right now. I still love this signal, guys. Uh, you can use the 50% stop loss if you want. Your targets would be uh, 165 and 220. Tells you exactly what the targets can be as well. So we want to get every single person in today. The only person, in my opinion, should not be buying this product because there's a couple of people that shouldn't be buying this. A, if you only trade futures or Forex, okay? If you only trade futures or Forex, do not trade this product. If you're day trading stock, swing trading stock, day trading options or swing trading options, this product is great for you. But if you're trading futures or Forex, don't buy this product. And number two, if you already own this product, please do not buy it again. You're not going to get more signals. We literally have people that love it so much, they bought it multiple times and thought they were going to get more signals. That's not how it works. We anticipate about 30 to 50 trades per week, say 40 on average trades per week. That gives you 160 opportunities to make money. Times that by three, it's going to give you close to 500 opportunities to make money. So what you're going to get here is three months of a proprietary-based option hacker scanner. You cannot, I repeat, you cannot get the scanner anywhere else in the world, okay? We do not own the technology. I just, the only person that has the rights to sell it. I've actually inquired about recreating it. So I can own the technology. I was quoted close to a million dollars in nine months to create this, guys. That's how good it is. So three months of the unusual option activity scanner, $1,347. You're going to get twice a week mentoring sessions with myself, 997. Proven cheat sheet, total bundle, $2,497. Okay. Like I said, people right now would pay us $1,347. Right now, I mean, we have 40 people lined up to buy it. We're going to give you 60% off for the first 25 people. This is just like a trade, guys. You got to get in fast because I anticipate we're probably going to be sold out of this webinar. Options on the floor.com forward slash hack. And here's the scanner in real time, guys. This is from today. Four signals. Uh, GSAT traded up to 55. Uh, PRMW traded up to 70. CCL is about 2% profit. And then GOLD, you can still get in that GOLD signal. I like this, guys. So these, we could have a signal right now. I have no idea, okay? So GSAT, if you got in at the, when the signal hit and you got out at the highs, you could have potentially made 67% profit, okay? Or 60% profit, we'll go down. If you got into these at 46, they traded up to 70. That's about 40% profit. These are up about 3%. And these are maybe down 1%. So these four signals, if you got into them, when they hit the scanner and got on the high of the day, you'd be up over 100% just today. And this scanner gives you the opportunity to get into about <clears throat> seven signals a day. The day's not over, okay? We still have hours and hours of trading left. Who knows what's gonna hit? You might get a really, really good signal. And actually, I wanna show you something that's even crazier if I can get to it in time. Um, so we have this... I copy and paste all the signals and I want to show you here because you're getting in 
you're following the smart money before the news, right? Before everybody else. Okay, I'm gonna show you these in. So I just copy and paste this and I just keep it for archives. Come on, option hacker. Uh, three month subscription, guys. You cannot buy this anywhere else in the world. If you wanted to recreate, it's gonna cost you about a million bucks and nine months of your life stressing. Okay, so I wanna show you guys this. This was in option hacker uh, from a couple days ago. So let's go to this. Okay, so the day before the Reddit news came out for marijuana names, this hit option hacker. Look at these signals, guys. The day before, okay, marijuana names hit Reddit and that big spike came in the marijuana names, we got signals from our proprietary based option hacker. I think these went up to $10, okay? This is before they hit the Reddit news. Do you think somebody didn't know? If you do not think people are trading on insider information, you know, it's up to your own discretion. I know what my opinion is. Those traded up to 1050, the signal was at 240. These traded up to, I think, $6, okay? One more, maybe the news about Carl Icahn getting into BH, uh, BHC, taking an activist position. Wow, option hacker flagged a signal in BHC C on the March 30 calls, days before Carl Icahn made a massive position. Do you think that person knew something? I'll let you be the judge of that, okay? This one day, Marathon, those went up 50%. Marijuana names hitting before Reddit. Option hacker flagging BHC <clears throat> before Carl Icahn, okay? So I got about two minutes left. If you have any questions, I'll let me pass it on. The link is optionsonthefloor.com forward slash hack. Email is blowing up, guys. A lot of people taking advantage of this. You cannot get this anywhere else in the world. What you're going to get is three months of UOA scanner, okay? Can't get it anywhere else. $1,347 value. Twice a week mentoring sessions. I don't let anybody else do my mentoring sessions. I do all the mentoring sessions myself. $997 value. I do one-on-ones. I charge $1,000 an hour. Someone wanted them. I told them 500 bucks a half an hour. You're going to get mentoring sessions twice a week with me. Traders, proven cheat sheet. Total value, $2,497. $699 will get you in for a quarter, guys. Three months. You're going to get roughly two to 250 trades. Four to seven per day with opportunities like the ones we just showed you in the cannabis names, opportunities like the ones we showed you today from our demo from Option Hacker that hit today. These are all copy and paste guys, straight from the scanner. And you'll get the opportunity to get all these signals. So make sure you sign up optionsonthefloor.com forward slash hack. If there's a question or two, I have about a minute left. If not, Thank you guys so much. My email inbox is blowing up right now. People signed up. Remember, we only have 25 spots. Once those are gone, they're going to be gone. Optionsonthefloor.com forward slash hack. Four signals today. Cumulative to you, 100% profit. Tell me the email that you want them to talk to you at, please. Uh, email we don't do. We just do the link. Okay. Got it. it. I posted it to the entire audience. I shared a couple of things to you that people comments made. And uh, if you guys have any other questions, you need to ask them right now or you need to get with Andrew later. Um, I know he's going to be following up with you, as are all the other speakers, to um, make sure that you got the information so you've got a chance to get in on these offers. And uh, that was awesome, Andrew. I appreciate you being with us today. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Thanks, you too. All right, folks. I'm going to introduce our next presenter now. Uh, but first, I want to um, show you that we are going to have a recording available of this webinar and of all of our other webinars. You go to tradersexclusive.com. And it is uh, at the, you know, on the home screen, you're going to go to Traders Education Webinars over here to the right. And then 
you go over to uh, that page, it tells you our upcoming webinars. And then this little here, right here, see where the green arrow is, tells you how to get to our past webinars. And uh, this is, you just scroll down and you can see who was in the webinar and you can check it all out. So our next presenter though is um, joining us, Joe Cavallero of Market Traders Institute. He's going to be sharing with us how the Fibonacci system can help you get consistent wins in the Forex market. And Joe has been trading stocks, uh, trading markets for 22 years and has been licensed in all of them, stock, options, commodities, futures, and Forex. And though he's traded several million shares of stock as a principal and trading desk manager, his discovery of a working formula in the Forex market has led him to trade the Forex exclusively as it provides a higher upside opportunity, greater leverage, and lower risk. As a Forex specialist at the Market Traders Institute, he has trained thousands of individual investors in their pursuit of profits. And uh, Joe, I'm really happy that you're here. Let me make you the panel or the uh, presenter and you can take it away. Awesome, I wanna thank the traders uh, exclusive for having me here today. It's a neat opportunity, not just for me, but I really think this is a neat opportunity for anybody that's looking to be trading the markets. We all wanna trade, but we don't wanna mess it up. We wanna find stuff that works. Well, I'm gonna take you through this, the Fibonacci system. I don't know if you've ever made a trade in the Forex before, but let me show you this system here to help you get consistent wins. Anybody can show you a couple of good ones, right? You gotta find something that works. So whenever you go to trade every day, every week, every month, right? You've got something that you can be confident cover. What I wanna do though, I want to make sure that everybody can hear me so do me a favor if you would if you can hear my voice see my screen type yes into the question box type yes in it just so i know we can communicate all right i'm gonna have questions for you to make sure you're following along all right i'll say hey did you understand that if you say yes then i can go on with another concept if i if you have a question for me type it in there we'll make sure to get you an answer i think that's how we have a robust conversation and that's how you get the most out of it so go ahead and do that looks like everybody can hear me look at that it's a big group so let's dive right into it there's a lot of money to be made here and i'm going to tell you this right and it's important to know yeah there's a lot of money to be made but you got to know what you're doing or you can lose your money that's what it says on the screen and I tell you this, so you know that this is serious business, okay? I take it very seriously. I know that you do. You're talking about your money. There's nothing more serious. I get it. What you got to realize is I'm not giving you investment advice, but I am going to show you something that works. And if you understand it, things can happen for you very quickly, even if you got a small account. What do I mean? Let me show you. I'm going to show you an account right here that I started just with the last group of new people that I was working with. I said, okay, you're all new. So let's do it in a smart way. Let's all open a small account. We use it as a proving ground. Let's make sure this works and we'll trade it together. Now you can see right here, I opened the account with a couple of thousand, not a big deal. The goal was to show everybody, even if they were new, no matter which currency you traded, okay? You could trade any of them, the dollar, the yen, the pound, the euro, doesn't even matter which one you pick, as long as you got a working formula. Look at this, you can add those consistent wins. Now, am I gonna tell you it's perfect? Of course not, right? When you're a trader, you put in wins, but from time to time, you gotta protect your downside. So you're gonna take a small loss, right? That just makes sense. That's what trading is about. But look what happened to this account by being consistent. You see it in two weeks, it doubled. Went from 2,000 to 4,000, all right? Without taking a lot of risk, just following a system I'm gonna show you today that makes sense. Most of the time people see it, they say, show me. Show me how you did it. Well, that's what I'm gonna do. But before I do, I just wanna show you, even if you're new, what can happen for you when you understand this. As long as you're consistent, gang, look at this, in 90 days. 90 days, it went from two to 12. So that's a $10,000 profit in 90 days, all right? 500% return, those are numbers that we like to see, right? There's not too many places you can talk like that. But because of the power of the Forex and the way it works and the advantages in it, this isn't just possible. What you're looking at is common. So if I can show you how to do this right now, we've done something here, right? This will be a good use of time. If I could try to make $10,000, obviously that would help you. And that's what I wanna show you, but more than that, okay? I wanna show you to understand that once you know the formula, now you know how to do it. Now you know how to do it, so you don't just do it once, okay? Now you know how to do it, so you get to keep doing it. That's what everybody wants to do. Well, let me take you through it, right? The formula was created by the founder of our company, right? Market Traders Institute, right? And Jared Martinez, he's known in the Forex business as the chief. You might've seen him before. Well, he discovered the formula. He wrote a book about it, became a popular formula. But here's what happened. People that got the formula were coming back and they're saying, look, chief, I got the formula. 
right? And it's good information, but information isn't enough. If information was all we needed, we'd all be rich. And that's true, okay? You gotta find a way to take it obviously and turn it into an active thing. He realized there was a need for that. So he started our group. And he said, if people wanna trade, let them come in and trade this formula with us. And it's all about the results. And when you start to see people in the room, in the group that are posting their results and they say, I made a thousand pips. They say, I'm loving it. I made 800 pips, 500 pips, 2000 pips. Now you might not even know what a pip is yet. That's okay. That's just how you make money in the Forex. I'm gonna show you how that works. But when you see that it's a repeatable thing, you say, okay, if they can do it, I can do it. You're right. The only difference between you and any of them, they know the formula. So you know what I'm gonna to do today? I'm gonna to show it to you so you can come and trade with us. And when I say us, what it is, it's a group of traders, gang, from around the world, right? The chief put them all together in one room, and these are the best traders in the world at this formula. Chris Pulver is one of the best ones there is. I want you to write his name down because you're gonna to get to know him. All right, Chris Pulver, over just the last year, has been able in his trading room called the Flex Trading Room to show new people, right, 40,000 pips of opportunity. Now, what does that mean? Well, if you're trading for a dollar a pip, right, you can do that with $200 of your own money. So this is not a capital intensive thing, okay? But if you're trading for that dollar a pip, we're talking about 40 grand. That's pretty good, right? Well, what if you're trading for $10 a pip, right? You step it out a little bit. Well, now we're talking about $400,000. This is what we do here. And a lot of people want to check it out. So we say, all right, let's let them check it out. The best way for you to be able to see this is to be able to see it as it's happening. So what we're gonna do tonight at seven o'clock is open up the trading room for new people. Now this is normally reserved for people that are already a part of our group. But if you say, you know what, I wanna check it out, you can do it, you just gotta reserve a space. How do you do that? Well, you go into the questions box and you type in your name and a good contact number. Why would you wanna do that? Because tonight, we're going to give you the game plan for the next 90 days with everything that's happening right now in the euro, in the pound, but especially in the dollar. The dollar's what's moving. You understand? We're going to show you how to do what? Put yourself in a position to make 16,000 pips. Dollar a pip, what is that? 16 grand. Okay, pretty good. What if it's $10 a pip? We're, we're going to have a $160,000 conversation tonight. So if you're thinking, well, yeah, I want to be able to check it out. All you have to do is what it says at the bottom of the screen. Just type in your name so we know who you are. Okay, and then type in a good contact number. At the end, we'll get in touch with you. We get you what you need to get in there. You got to get the, the link and the password, right? If you don't have the password, you can't come in. But if you got the password, all of a sudden it opens up for you. And now you're seeing exactly what it is we do here. Why would you want to do it? You'd be part of our family, all right? We call it the family of traders. And what does Chris do? Well, at the end of every session, he says, all right, everybody, how'd you do here in the Flex Trading Room? When they start putting in their numbers, that's what we like to see. You understand, Alice, 400 pips. Heather, 600 pips again. You understand, 700, 800, cha-ching, right? We have fun with it. Of course we have fun with it. Why? What's more fun than making some money? You understand? And the fact of the matter is, we got a formula here, gang, where I can show you all the pips and all the all the uh, testimonials, but the best way for you to see it is to see it. So if you want to be in there tonight, just let me know that, okay? Go in the question box, type in your name, and just type in a good contact number so we can reach you. You know what I'm going to do now in the next half hour? I'm going to get you ready. I'm going to get you ready to do this, okay? This is what I do, okay? I'm going to get you ready so that even if you're new, even if you never made a trade before, OK, you're going to have this thing in your back pocket by the time we're done. We'll go through it. I'll, I'll go live because that's the best way to do it. Anybody can show you old stuff. I want to show it to you live. OK, I'll show you the formula. I'll show you a couple of cool pieces of software. I'll show you all the buttons to push and where the money is. If it makes sense, just try it. That's what this is about. You want to give it a shot? I'm going to show you how to do that. And I'll tell you what, we're so confident in our formula that you know what we're going to let you do? We're going to let you trade some of our money. No kidding, that's confidence in your program. If you stick with me, I'll show you how we'll even fund an account for you and you can come and trade it. Now that is a little bit different. So now I gotta take you through it, but it's not gonna be hard because there's only eight currencies that we trade, right? You could look through a thousand different stocks. You can look at a thousand different options and different contracts. You know what we trade here, gang? Eight currencies, that's it. So when you get up in the morning, there's only eight currencies to choose from, okay? And I'm gonna teach you how to trade all these right now, the ones you heard of, the dollar, the Canadian, the Euro, the pound, the yen, the franc, the Aussie, and the Kiwi. And I want you to write those down. That's the whole list, okay? All we gotta do is put it together, but that's not hard because you know more about this than you think. You know more about currencies than you think, even if you're new at this. You've been to the airport, you've been to that booth at the airport where you can exchange your currencies, right? Well, when you see this information, you know what it means. You can walk up and you can hand them a pound. They check that rate, they hand you back the dollars. That is a currency exchange. If you've ever done that, you're cooking because that's all we're doing here to make money. We're trading exchange rates. Write this down. We're trading exchange rates for profit because exchange rates are moving up and down. That's a price. 
Well, if it moves up or down, we can make money either way. Now, it's a little different than stocks because stock prices move dollars and cents at a time. So that's how you make money over there, dollars and cents at a time. But in currency, it moves a little different. It moves over here at the last two decimal places, pips at a time. PIP stands for price interest point. It's not dollars, it's cents, it's pips. And that's what we're looking for in the Forex market. The more pips we make, the more money we're going to make. You understand that? I'm going to show you how these pips are going to become your friend. And most people say, well, how do I make money on something that moves less than a penny? Well, I'm going to show it to you. Right? I think you're going to understand it, though. Let's say you got a currency, the pound and the U.S. dollar. Let's say it's trading at 136.05. Well, during the day, you might have a strong pound. Right During the day, you might have a weak dollar. Okay, either way, what happens here to my little seesaw? Either way, it moves. Right In this case, it moves higher. Well, at the same time, that moves my exchange rate higher. So let's say it goes from 136.05 to 136.95. What is that? It's a 90 pip difference. So if you did that as a trade, you bought it low and you sold it high, just like anything else, you made 90 pips. Now, if you can see that, okay, you know where the pips come from. So now what do we got to do? We just got to go get them. So you want to see how to go get them? I'm going to show it to you. And I got to move quickly because I'm on a limited amount of time. But finding the pips, going out and getting the pips isn't that hard. OK, what you do is you pull up a, a charting program. Now, I just pulled up one called Smart Trader. This is actually our charting program. We don't use other people's charts and we don't use the free stuff on the Internet. We put a million dollars into this tool right here. This is designed to be the best tool going for trading the Forex. It's what I use. It's what Chris Pulver and the chief and everybody here and all of our students use. This is the tool that you're going to be able to use. Now, even if you don't know how to read it, right, it's really not that complicated. What you're going to come to understand by clicking on any of these charts. OK, let's say we clicked on this one of the euro is there's a right time to buy and sell let's say you knew how to read it okay and let's say you said okay i'm gonna buy the euro and i'm gonna buy it when it makes this formation so where'd you buy it you bought it let's see right here okay at 121.22 and let's say you held it okay and it went to your advantage let's say it went right to where it is at the end of the screen and you sold it okay let's say you did that okay and how much what was the price right there the price right there was what 121.65 so if you went from 121.22 to 121.65, how'd you do? You're like, I didn't even make a penny. You're right, you didn't make a penny. What you made there was 43 pips, 43 pips. And how long did it take? Let me measure that. I got a measuring tool right here. And I say, okay, how long did this take? It looks like it took from 8.30 in the morning, right on, on Valentine's Day, right? Looks like, to what? 5.30, a day and a half later. So I made 43 pips in about a day and a half. OK, that might not be too exciting. OK, one and a half days. But what I basically just showed you here was a day trade. OK, it's a day trade. One buy, one sell. It looks like anything else you ever did. Well, how much money does that come out to? Well, that depends on how you trade it. And this is the fun part about being a Forex trader. You can trade it at different levels based on how confident you are with it. You might start with a $20 trade, a micro lot. $20, what can I do with that? Think about what you can do with it in the stock market. Not much, but in the Forex, you can trade. OK, micro lots of currency. I'm not trying to insult anyone's intelligence, right? Everybody's got more than 20. But here's what I'm going to tell you to do. Start there so you know what you're doing. Once you see that it works, that's when you step up a little and you might trade mini lots. Now, all you need for that is two hundred dollars. See, the best part about this market, you don't need a lot of money. OK, but the fact is you start trading mini lots, things will become more substantial. And when you start trading standard lots, that's where you want to get to. That's when it's going to have the most impact to you financially. So you look at this and you say, OK, it looks like I can do something because I got at least $20. All right. Well, that means you can trade this market. What do you want to know first, though? Where's the money? That's where the pips come in. If you trade micro lots, the pips are worth 10 cents. If you trade mini lots, the pips are worth a dollar. And if you trade standard lots, the pips are worth $10 a piece. So what does all that mean? Well, let's just go back to this chart. Let's say I did this trade. OK, with a micro lot, one micro lot of currency is a $20 trade. The pips when I do that, okay, are worth 10 cents a piece. So if I just made a 43 pip profit, what did I make? $4.30. You're like, really? That's coffee money. Oh, I don't disagree. But what it also is, is 21% return. That's a nice percentage. It's not a lot of money, okay? But if you got a market where you can make 21% and you got a formula where you can keep doing that, you're not trading small very long. That's right, all right? At which point you're gonna start trading what? Mini lots. Now, let's say you did this trade with a mini lot, okay, one mini lot, okay, now you got $200 into the trade, okay, ooh, not a lot of money, you're right, but if all of a sudden those pips are worth a dollar a piece, this trade suddenly becomes worth $43, okay, now you're getting somewhere, 
You see that? It's the same trade. It's the same currency. It's the same time. And it's the same amount, right, of pips. You're not doing extra work, but if you put just a little more in, you get to take a little more out. Okay, it's risk and reward. Why would I tell you about standard lots? Why do I want you to circle this one on your paper? It's pretty simple. Because if you do this trade with one standard lot of currency and the pips are worth $10 a piece, now you're making $430. That, gang, right, if you could repeat that over and over, that's going to get you somewhere. Okay, well, how often does that happen? Every currency every day. What about the downside? I'm going to show you all that because I know you want to see it. But the fact is, if this is something that you can capture, if this is something you can do, okay, then you're going to end up deciding how big you want to do it. We all start small to prove it works, okay? But then we dive in and we say, you know what? I want to make sure that it works. Show it to me. Show it to me. Well, that's what I'm going to do. You ready? I know I'm moving quickly because I have to, okay? But I've got four different currencies here. And on any of these, in any time frame, I could do five minutes, 30 minutes, day, two hours. It doesn't matter. Whenever I click on a screen, it tells me everything I got to know to be able to get that. Now, what do you have to know? Well, think about it. What do you have to know if you're a trader? Let's look at this chart. Take the pound New Zealand, all right? This is a two hour chart, okay? What do I have to know to trade this? Three things before I risk money. I gotta know my direction, okay? I gotta know where to get in and I gotta know where to get out. Now, when do I wanna know that? I wanna know it ahead of time. I don't wanna know any of this while I'm in my trade. I wanna know which way it's going first. You know, you'd be surprised how many people don't know which way things are going. They're, they tell you they're in a great investment. Yeah, Joe, I'm in a great investment. I just ask them the simplest possible question. Which way is it going? And they go, well, they're, they're guessing, they're gambling. Well, we're not gambling here. You understand? Because we know this direction, okay? If we know the direction, write this down. Profits will follow. Profits will follow, okay? If you don't know the direction, you're guessing. If you know it, profits will follow. So then what else do you need to know? Where to get in and out, okay? That's all you need to know. And you need to know it ahead of time before you risk money. Before, okay, you risk money. You risk money. Any money, okay? Well, that's what this program does. Now, what makes it work? The way the Forex works, because it's a different market. You're all trading the stock market. You're all trading options, which are attached to the stock market, right? You're trading, trading futures, which are all equity-based stuff, okay? Well, this is a different market. And the fact that it's different and does something different is gonna be your biggest advantage. Well, what does it do? It repeats itself, okay? This Forex market, okay, it repeats itself. This is gonna be your biggest advantage because it does the same thing over and over. So if you can make money at it once, it's just going to keep doing the same thing. Really? Oh, yeah. You'll, you'll see how you can make money over and over. Well, how does it work? Well, this market develops a pattern. Okay? We're going to find the pattern using the candlesticks. Now, everybody knows candlesticks on a basic level, right? Red ones are sellers in control. Green ones are buyers in control. And you can look at the candles, right? And, and, and you can see who's in control for a particular period of time. That's good information. Okay? But in the Forex, we put those candles together and a pattern shows up. And it's the pattern I'm going to show you. Okay? That's going to be your biggest advantage. What do you mean? Well, look what's happening here, gang, on my chart. You see what's happening on my chart here? The Forex is moving, but it's not moving straight up and down. It's moving in these waves. Well, that's a pattern. And the way it works in the Forex is it moves in an ABCD pattern. Okay, ABCD. That's what you have to understand about the Forex market. It moves in an ABCD pattern. I'll just show you what I mean. Okay, let's just start over here. We'll start at the low price. Okay, you see this low price right here? That's actually the beginning of my pattern. So what I'm gonna do is label it letter A. Okay, letter A begins the pattern. Now what happens? The market, right, doesn't just go up, it trends up until it hits a high price. Well, if the low price was A, okay, the high price is B on my pattern. Now it's coming together. But then what happens? Okay, the sellers jump in and drive me to a low. That's letter C. And what happens right after that? You can see it. The buyers jump in again, and they don't just buy, but they keep on buying this all the way up to here. That's letter D. That's the end of the pattern. So I just showed you an ABCD, just that simple. You can find the pattern, but here's the best part about it. When it's over, it does it again. It does the same pattern in the other direction. See this? High price A, low price B. You see it? High price C, low price D. It keeps doing the same, oh, excuse me, it keeps doing the same pattern. It keeps doing this same pattern, okay? And the discovery here is in the Forex, it does this pattern over and over again. Now you're not an expert yet, okay? But if you can see it, I can show you how to make money. Can you see it? If you can, type yes in your question box. Type yes if you can see this pattern because the key to the Forex gang is this wave pattern. 
You see it? It keeps happening over and over and over. And it's not a random thing. Look at that. You can all see the pattern. Well, that's not a random thing. It's a natural pattern. This is a naturally occurring pattern. Sorry about that. This is a naturally occurring pattern. Okay. It's a repeatable pattern. See it over and over and over. But let me ask you a question. What if that is a predictable pattern? Predictable pattern. Is that going to help you? They asked me the same question. I said, obviously. Is there a tool that'll show me which way it's going to go? Because if there is, show it to me, right? Because that's what we all need. We want a tool that'll show us, right, which way this is going to go next. Well, there's actually a tool in here, okay, that won't just show you which way. It'll show you how far before it happens. Think that'll help you? Let me show you the tool, all right? This is the key to Smart Trader. It's called the Fibonacci tool, the Fibonacci tool, okay? It's based on the Fibonacci sequence. Now, a lot of you are saying, all right, I know the Fibonacci, but some of you might be new at this. So I'm going to tell you who Fibonacci is just so you understand it. He was a mathematician in the 1300. He became a famous mathematician. Why? Well, he discovered a sequence of numbers called the Fibonacci sequence. You see that set of numbers? It's important because that set of numbers can be used to measure patterns in nature. Okay. They call it nature's numbering system. You Google it. You'll see it. Right. Because what Fibonacci figured out was that every pattern can be measured mathematically because it's following a natural predictable pattern. I'll show you what I mean. Look at a weather pattern. See a weather pattern? That's not random, it's a natural pattern. And it's a Fibonacci. Take a look at take a look at a, a flight of stairs, okay? It's all around you. Flight of stairs isn't, isn't a random thing. You build it mathematically, it's all math. It's all math, it's a Fibonacci. And it's closer to you than you think. Look at your finger. You see your fingerprint? You're a Fibonacci also. Every part of your body, look in the mirror. Your ear is a Fibonacci. Every part of the universe gang follows this pattern. Even the universe, right, follows this pattern. So that's fascinating. What's it got to do with this? Everything. Why? Because the chief, right, said, wait a second, wait a second. This is a pattern. What if it's a natural pattern? What if it's a predictable pattern? It's a financial market, right? If that works, we can make some money with it. Well, that's what he did. He put the Fibonacci in here, gang. Watch it work. You're going to love this. You're going to be able to make it work. What you do is you get this on your desk. You pull up a chart. Now, I don't care what chart you pull up. Here's your job. You got to find the pattern. Find the pattern. Okay. You want to see how to do it? You find the lows and the highs, the low prices and the high prices, and what we call those U turns. A U turn. It's a reversal in the market. Take a look. See how the see how the pattern here shows up, right? And the market makes a U turn. That's a reversal. Okay. When a reversal happens in the forex, we can see it in the candles. It's a reversal. We were going down. Now we're going up. Well, the bottom of that U turn. That's a low price. So if you do like I did and you give it a label, you just found the beginning of your pattern, just like that, simple. So what do I do next? Look for the next U-turn. Now watch this, here it is. Well, you see this right here? If you look for the next U-turn, it's the market going up and then the market coming back down. It's upside down, still a U-turn. So what do I do there? You label that. So now you got U-turn A, U-turn B. Now your pattern is taking shape. So what do I do next? Look for the next U-turn. You can see it right here. Here's the next U-turn. So if you can find the U-turns, right? If you can find the U-turns, that means what? That means, gang, look it, you can find the pattern. So what do you wanna know? You wanna know where the end of the pattern is. Well, that's where you use the Fibonacci tool. You wanna see how this works? It's fun, it's easy, it's awesome. Watch this. If you got A, B, and C, what you wanna know as the trader is where's the end of this ride? Where's, the, where's letter D? Well, what you do is you get the Fibonacci tool from right up here in Smart Trader. It's right up here in this menu. Okay, it's the first thing you're gonna see. And if you don't quite see it all at once, I'm going to show it to you a couple of times, okay? But when you click on that, watch this. You come down to your pattern, and to use the tool, you draw a line. You draw it from A to B. You see what just happened there? I draw a line from A to B, and the tool shows up on my desk. There it is, okay? It looks like a, like a ladder. It's color-coded. Now, what are, what are those numbers? Well, these are the Fibonacci numbers. Now, that looks a little complicated, but it's not. All that's happening right here, when you draw the line from A to B, is it measures the first part of the pattern. Simple. But at B, we stop going up, right? We pull back down. Well, this was the first part of the pattern. This is the next part of the pattern, okay? The market pulls back down till it hits a low. And then what happens? It stops going down and it makes another U-turn. Well, what do we already determine? That low price is letter C. Well, here's what you have to notice to use the tool. You've got to notice where that happens. You've got to notice where that is and how that low price that you see right there, it lines up with one of these lines on the tool. That's important because some people call these lines, these Fibonacci lines, energy levels. Let's keep it simpler though, instead of calling them energy levels. Here's what we're gonna call these just to make it easy for anybody. 
Okay, we're gonna call these trampolines. Trampolines, because of what they do to the price of this currency. Now, what do I mean? Well, look at it. The market came down, right, to this low price. Then it stopped going down and hit this red line. Well, just like a trampoline, look what happens. It bounces off it in the other direction. What it's got right now is upside energy. You understand that? It's got energy. You want me to keep it simple? It's going up. You can see that. And if you knew it in real time, what would you do? If you knew it was going up in real time, what would you do? Well, I knew it's going up. Buy it. You see how easy that is? And if that's all you knew, this would give you a big advantage. Well, here's the best part about this. Okay. This tool won't just tell you which way it's going. It'll tell you how far it's going to go to finish the pattern. How? It's easy because the tool does the work. You want to know how far this is going to go? Watch this. What you have to do is match the color that you're bouncing off down here with the same color up here. That'll tell you where you're going to go to finish the pattern. Let me say it again. You got A, B, and C. You want to know where letter D is? You have to match the color. You're bouncing off here with the same color here. You want to see if it works? Watch this. We went from this red line and we bounced, but we didn't finish bouncing. We're still going up. The buyers keep buying, making higher lows, higher highs, until we get all the way up to here. What's up there? Letter D. End of the pattern. Why is it right there? Because that's exactly where it's supposed to be. Because this isn't random. We've gone from red to red. A, B, C, D. We finished a natural pattern, gang. We finished a Fibonacci pattern. First time I saw this, I'm on the edge of my seat. You know why? Because I said, that's it. That's how it works. You understand? And if it's if that's what it is, I mean, I, I, I didn't know it all, but I understood very quickly. I mean, if you can tell me where it's going up, I'll buy it. So let's say I did. Let's just do this example. Let's say I bought it right here. Okay, what was the price? 189.94. Where did I sell it? At the end of the pattern. That's this red line. That's where letter D is. So where'd you sell it again? I sold it at 192.13. So let's just do an example, the, the, the math. 192.13 is where I sold it. 189.94 is where I bought it. So that's a 219 pip difference. 219 pips. So if I did this as a one lot trade, one lot trade, $10 a pip, that's worth $2,190 a profit. And that means what? I made 110% return. Not 10%, 110%. How long did it take? Two hour chart, right? I'll measure it. I got a measuring tool right here. How long did that take? Well, if I bought it here and I sold it here, it took me 41 bars times two, 82 hours. That's three days. You did a trade on a Monday, by Thursday, you had two grand. If that's something that you can do repeatedly, gang, okay, you found something, right? You didn't need a lot of money to do it. You want to go buy 100 shares of Apple? That's 10 grand. You want to do this? It's two grand. You understand? And that's something you can do repeatedly. What do you mean? Well, look, I got patterns. It's not just something that happens once. You want to test this and see if it works? Watch this. I can show you this happens over and over. Watch this. Here, let me clean it up so you can really see it. Okay, I'm going to clean this up so you can see it. Let me get rid of all these lines. Come on, give me that. Click, and I'm going to get rid of these lines. Click. All right, here. We got another pattern right here. You see it? So let's just measure this and see if it works, okay? This is my high price, the next pattern. This is my next wave. There's A. The market comes down to a low price, makes that U-turn. So this is B. Then the market rallies to a high. Look at that high price. That's gorgeous, right? That's letter C. But then the market falls apart, right? Well, that's going to be letter D down here. Well, if this really works, I should be able to get my Fibonacci tool, click on it, and say, okay, let me just make sure. I draw my line from A to B because that's where the pattern sets up. That's the structure. You understand? You don't just do stuff haphazardly. You have to see the pattern set up with the U-turns. The A to B is the A to B pattern. That's where it sets up. But what happens at B? Then the market stops going down and it rallies. Big rally up to the high. But then what happens? It stops going up. Okay? Stops going up. Watch this. I got to get rid of this. Okay? When that high price does what? It hits a Fibonacci. Look at that. It's almost a perfect triangle. You're going to see that a lot. You're going to see the Fibonacci numbers come into play all the time because this is a deep concept. It's all math, right? It's it's like the mathematics of the universe and what holds everything together, right? Most of you are like, I don't care about math. What do you care about? I want to know if it's going to go down to that green line. Why? Because you figured it out. If you got to match the color to use the tool, right, then this should go from this green line to this green line, right? Well, you want to see where it goes? How about this? It goes right to it, right down to the last pip because that's not random. That's a Fibonacci. 
that's the discovery. And the first time I saw it, I was like, wow, that's a wow. That's awesome. But you want to know something? That's the hard part. You learned it. That's the hardest part. It took me about half an hour, and now you know how to do it. So now what do I have to do? I got to show you how to trade it. And if you want to trade this, gang, what you're going to do is get this on your desk and pull up a chart. I don't care what chart you pull up. You're looking at candles, okay? Don't tell me you can't do it. Don't tell me that if you're a new person, you're trying to find something that works, that you can't find a U-turn, a U-turn, and a U-turn. You see that? Well, that's A, B, and C. Even if you can't find it, you know what? There's a tool that'll find it for you. Built into Smart Trader, we call it that because it makes you look smart real quick. You click on the ABCD tool, watch this. See this smart Fibonacci? It'll find it for you. All you gotta do is click a button, come down and look for a low price. Now watch what happens on the count of three. One, two, three, click. Oh, excuse me. I, I clicked on the wrong candle. Yeah, that didn't look very impressive. One, two, three, click. There it is. See this? It found the pattern. It found the pattern. There's A and there's B, right? What I'm gonna do though, is I'm gonna come back out of this and I'm gonna draw that manually, right? Just so you can really see where it is. Hold on, trend line, whoop, ABCD tool. Where's my Fibonacci? There it is. Okay, you could do it either automatically or manually, but now you can see the pattern. So what should happen here? If this really works and it's bouncing off this red one, what should happen? This thing should go to that red line. Am I right? Well, if it goes to that red line, let's say, let's say you decided to trade this, okay? You say, okay, if this really works, right? And I see that U-turn, and I see that it's bouncing, okay? What am I gonna do? Well, if you wanna make money, you gotta buy it here, okay? And you gotta sell it when it finishes the pattern. So what does that mean? Well, it means that this area is what you're looking for, the profit opportunity. You see that? That's the money to be made. How much is it? Well, how much is it? Let's measure it. From here to here, how much is that? That's gonna be 297 pips. So if you do this, gang, you got three ways you can do it, 297 pips, okay? One mini lot, Great, dollar a pip, $297. One standard lot, okay, the opportunity in this trade is almost three grand, $2,970 of potential profit. I don't have to show you how to make a zillion dollars. You know what I have to show you? If that's repeatable. Because if you can make money, two, 300, two, 3,000 at a time, that's gonna make a difference for you. We don't talk about, oh, make a zillion. We don't talk like that. Because we know that the thing that's gonna impact you the most is to just be able to do this for profit in a way that you can be confident with. That's what makes it fun. I made money today. I can't wait to get there tomorrow, right? That's why we have a lot of fun with it. Well, here's what you're gonna do. To buy it, you click on a button over here. You fill out the little ticket, you click on buy. That's simple. But before you do, I don't want you to be risking all your money. So you're gonna place a stop. Excuse me, you, if you're gonna trade with us, the last thing you want is for this to fall off the cliff. I show you it works a couple of times, but you still wanna be able to test it. Well, you're gonna test it by placing a floor under the trade. If you know about stop orders, you know what to do here. If you don't, okay, that's gonna be one of the things that we teach you about because that's how we trade. We don't go taking big risk. We trade with a stop, a floor. You wanna see what it looks like? It looks like this, watch this. Okay, I'm almost done here, okay? Your floor looks like this. Now, why'd you put your floor right there? Well, I'm gonna put the floor where it makes the most sense. You see this? I put my floor at letter C because if that's where it's bouncing, okay, that's where I'm going to put the floor, okay? Now, we call letter C conservative. A conservative trader, C, conservative, puts their stop at C, so they do what? They risk as little as possible to make as much as they can. You think I'm trying to hurt you? I'm trying to help you. There's very little risk in that trade. And if you look at that and say, well, that looks pretty good. Well, then look what happens. You think it's a big surprise? Look what happens. The market doesn't just go up. It's bouncing, okay? And it makes higher lows and higher highs. Now, where's it bouncing to? Well, it looks like it's gonna bounce until it hits that red line. Well, look what it did, gang. Are you gonna tell me this is an accident? Are you gonna tell me this is an accident that it hit that red line right down to the last pip? You know when it did that? Today. I'm not showing you old stuff. I'm showing you what happened today. I don't have to go, oh, look at the money we made back in December. I'm not gonna do that. I wanna show you how this works right now. And if you saw this and you said that, that's it. That looks like something I can do. It's A, B, C, D over and over. I show you one, two, three, four times in a row, right? You're not going to need to see it too many more times in order to understand that this is something you can do. Well, how do I get it? You want to get Smart Trader on your desk? You can do it. In fact, I want you to do it. Okay, you want to try it out, test it out, go to your chat, your question box, type in your name so we know who you are and type in a good phone number for real because at the end, we're almost done.
I'll reach out to you. I'll have one of my education specialists reach out to you. Let's get you what you need to get it on your desk. You can start messing with it. Okay, you got to get the link and the password. You can put it on all your devices. You can start having some fun with it. You got a couple of hours before what? Before 7 o'clock tonight. What's going to happen at 7 o'clock? Chris Pulver is going to get in there and give you the game plan, gang. I show you 200 pips. You're like, wow. He's going to show you 16,000. 16,000 pips on all the dollar pairs for the next 90 days. And all the homework's done for you. No kidding. What do you think we're doing here? We trade every day. We got a big group that we support every day. You want to be a part of it. You want to check it out. Well, then go ahead and type your phone number in that questions box. Because the fact of the matter is, if you can see this, okay, you're going to understand that it's something you can do. And there's some techniques that you're going to learn. I'm going to show you a quick technique right here because I got just another minute or two to show you. You see this right here, gang, how it's following the uptrend. A lot of people say, well, yeah, you did that one. But, you know, you're showing me the money I didn't make. Well, what if you miss this one and you notice, look at this, that this continues right to do u-turns but it's following the upward trend what that means is watch this you're still in the buy zone and if you're in the buy zone you're going to be a buyer now if you dip below it okay you're going to be in the sell zone okay the fact of the matter is though if it really works watch this if it really works this should re repeat itself but to the buy side watch what happens let me turn the old c into the new a Excuse me, watch this. If you missed the first one, A was down here, but let's say you saw this one first. Well, that would make C, right, the A, the one that you saw. And it rose to a high price, that's B, right? And then it fell down to a low price, that's C, right? Well, if this really works, I mean, Joe, you said found the U-turns, I should just be able to draw my line. Okay, let's draw the line. You tell me if it works. There's A, there's B. Now, what are you gonna tell me? It bounced off the red line, and look at this, red to red, finishes the pattern. Is that cool or what? Is that cool? Is that A, B, C, D? How many pips would that one have been? Right? When did the candle hit? You see this candle right here? That's the candle that would be the signal. You see how it's lit up? That's a bullish engulfing candle. Now you're saying, oh, now you're talking like a trader. Well, you're going to talk like a trader. You want to you want to be a trader. That's how traders talk. Okay. But the fact of the matter is a bullish engulfing candle is not hard to figure out. Bullish engulfing. Please put this in your notes so you can take a good takeaway here. That means the buyers, right, bullish buyers have done what? Engulf, taken over the market, taken over the market for that period of time. Well, if that candle's lit up, they took over. That's why the price ran. Okay, now if you didn't know how to read the candles, you'd have no idea about that. But we got a tool that reads them. It's right here. It's not like the old days where you have to learn how to do it. Okay, I had to learn all this, right, candles. Okay, I could do these in my sleep. You don't have to do that. You got a button you can push. Watch. See the candlesticks? This shows you all of the bullish moves. Now, you might not know what the three charging bulls are, but boy, that sounds important, right? Well, here they are. Look at three charging bulls. You see that? If you didn't have this tool, all you'd be looking at is, is candles that aren't lit up. But if you click a button, watch this. On the count of three, one, two, three, click. You see that? They light up. And now you can see, okay, I got a signal. I got a structure. That's how you make money. And you wonder why we're excited about it? Because I don't care which of these charts you pull up, gang. This is something you're going to be able to do. Do you think I showed you this one by accident on the euro? I showed it to you on the 30-minute chart. Why did I show you this one? Because very simply, if I've got my structure, A, B, C, D, that, gang, is a good-looking trade. Now, 43 pips might not get you fired up. That's a pretty good day. But why do you need to get out at letter D? Because look what happens. You understand? Look what happens next. A, B, C, D, the pattern ended. That's why you have to know where to get out. So you don't give back everything you just made. You understand? People say, oh, it's going to the moon. No, it's not. The pattern's over. So I'm starting another pattern? You are. When did this pattern start? Yesterday. How do you know? Because this is when the Fed made their big announcement, right, on the U.S. dollar, right? Oh, the dollar's weak. The dollar's weak. No, it's not. The dollar's strong. And guess what you got right here? This time, watch this. You got the three charging bears. So that thing's going to be sold? Sure looks like it. So do you jump right on it? That's where most traders make a mistake. They jump right on the move. Well, then you don't get a good entry. What you've got to do, gang, is wait for the structure. When you wait for the structure, and it's this simple, there's A and there's B. Now you can see the structure. You see it? And it sure as heck looks like it's bouncing off a trampoline. That's not a mistake. I'm telling you. The trampolines come into play all the time. So how do we make our money? We make our money from C to D. And we always set our stops so we have little risk. Now, if this one goes to the red line, you got to try this. 
You understand? Watch this. Bang. It finishes the pattern today. Why? A, B, C, D. Joe, this is awesome. It gets more awesome. How? You can do it automatically. You want to see automation? What do I got here? Five minutes. Holy cow. I'm going to show you that you can automate it. I don't have a lot of time. Okay. But if you wanted to automate this, you could do it with just a couple of clicks. Remember I showed you the smart Fibonacci. It shows you, right, how to find the A and the B. Remember I told you that? But watch this. When I clear out the screen, right, you can see that. Hold on. I'm going to use this one. Sorry. I got to find the most current pattern. Let me find it. A, B, C, D, smart Fibonacci. All right, here. There's my most current pattern. If I right click it and I set it and I say, okay, I just want this to trade for me. Like if I go to sleep and something happens overseas, I don't want to miss it. Well, then what I'm going to do is click on trading and then I'm going to say, okay, I want to trade at whatever level it bounces off. These are all those trampolines. I'm going to select them all. Watch what happens real time. I'm setting an order at every one of those. So now if it pulls back and bounces off of one, that's the one I'm going to get in. Look, I just did this just now. My broker account is set up right with this. I click on it and I say, okay, what do I want to do? Okay, my pending orders are right here. I just did this while I was talking. There's the pound, yen, right? All these orders were just placed at 25 after. You see it? There's a stop loss and a take profit. And, and the, the results have been great. Look at these results. 300 pips, 200 pips. I don't win on all of them, right? There's a couple of duds, but what do you notice? The duds are really small. Because why? Because we don't want to invest in our losses. We invest in our gains. And that's how you get the big ones. Joe, I'm going to give it a shot. Well, come on. You got to put your phone number in that question box. Okay, let's get your password. We'll get it downloaded. And here's what I'm going to do for you today. Okay, I'm going to get you into that trading room. Not just once. You get there tonight at 7 o'clock. Okay, it's good to be in the trading room to get the game plan. But as a trader's exclusive special, here's what we're going to do for 10 of you. We're going to give you this software, right, for six months. You know what else we're going to do? We're going to get you into that trading room. You got to you want to have a plan and you say, well, this looks awesome. I got to learn how to do that. Well, you're going to have the time to be able to do it. You're going to get in there and get the expertise to do it. And here's the other thing we're going to do. We're going to give you an account to do it with. No kidding. Well, that's belief in the program, gang. We're going to give you an account to do it with. Well, how much is all this? Well, if you want to get in and do it, there's the special. The MTI Traders Exclusive Special for being able to do all of this with the tools and the help and an account to trade with, $14.95. That's going to be for 10 of you. You want to reserve a spot? You got to do it right now. Go to the questions box and just type in your name, and you got to type in a good phone number. I can't read your mind if you want to do this, but I know a lot of you are saying, I want to do that. Well, you're going to get six months of this, gang. So what is it now? February, March, April, May, June, July, August. By the end of August, you're going to have this thing in your back pocket. You're going to have the tools to have done it with. At the very least, you're going to get this awesome education on how this works. If you haven't done the Forex market before, this is an awesome opportunity. Look at that. We're getting a big response here. And I've only got 10 spots. So here's what I'm going to do in the, in the minute I got left. All right. I don't want anybody to miss out on this. If you're thinking, I want to do it. What do I have? Who do I need to talk to? Call this number. If you call this number that is on your screen. OK, and I'm going to give you a second to write it down. And what I'm really hoping is Sherry sends you out the number. OK, if you call this number, I'll guarantee you a spot. If you call this number, I'll guarantee you one of those trading accounts. Really, you guys believe in it that much? You're going to give us capital to trade with? Yes. That's how much we believe in the program. That's how much we believe in you and your ability to learn it. If you bring enthusiasm, right, what, what, what else do you need? You need a little help? You need a little money to trade with? Well, if we speak to you today, right, I'm going to make sure that you get this special. So come on. That's my time, right? I'm going to make sure you got this number. If you want, oh, I don't want to call anybody. Then send me a note that lets me know. But I got to speak with you today because this is limited to 10 people. We're going to limit it because we want to give you that one-on-one -on -one help, that one-on-one -on -one attention. You see other markets, okay? This is one you can trade 24 hours. That's one of the benefits of doing it. You don't have to be tied to the stock market hours. You can trade it at 8 o'clock at night if you want to, and you're saying, no kidding. See that? That's a benefit. We can help you no matter what your lifestyle is, no matter what your current situation is. You're going to get it for six months, gang. Well, what happens after six months? Well, then you decide what to do going forward. You understand that? But you're going to have the knowledge to do this. You're going to have the you're going to have the, the the game plan to do it with, and you're going to have an account to do it with. Then you decide if you want to keep going forward. If you do, guess what? You can be a part of our group for life if you want to. So call the number, right? Call that number, right? There it is. 
$14.95, 10 of you, and that's my time. What a great time. Man, I hope you learned something. I went quickly, but I, I hope you took a lot of good notes. They give me a chance here to come in and show you something. I get excited about it, man, and I know <laughs> that you are, so I'm hoping we can work together with this. Let's go do something together, all right? Let's go oh. make some money at this, and I will talk no. to you later. Thanks again for being here. Take care. Thank you, Joe. Thank you. You guys, uh, take advantage. Give him a call. I did put the email. I did put the phone numbers in the uh, chat. And uh, I hope you'll take advantage of this. That was awesome. Thanks so much, Joe. Appreciate you being with us. And I definitely look forward to having you come back. Thank you again, Thank you. Sherry. All right. Now, let's see. All right. Now, guys and girls. We are going to uh, introduce our next speaker. And uh, let's see, I wanna just remind you that um, we are posting a recording to the webinar and you can get it at tradersexclusive.com forward slash archived underscore webinars. And uh, usually up, not maybe tonight, maybe definitely by tomorrow afternoon at the latest. And you should be watching your inboxes so that when you get follow-up emails from our speakers, you can take advantage of their offers there as well. So um, I wanna bring up now, Kenny Glick, the warlock is with us. He's uh, with hitthebid.com. He's gonna talk to us about VWAP for your mind. and. Uh, he built the system we all trade in and he's here to show you how to read it. So be the manipulator, not the manipulated. How'd I do, Kenny? Wow, <laughs> you, you, it's like you know everything about me already. This is amazing. <laughs> well, take it away. Let me let me turn you into the presenter here and uh, you will have the floor. Okay, well, I need to, uh, I don't have anything that's popping up where I could show my screen. Oh, maybe I do now. Should, should be, should ah, be now. Show my okay, screen. there we awesome. go, awesome. All right, let All me right. just see which one I want to see. I'm going to mute myself. You just holler if you need me. All right. Let's see which one I want to show. I'll show you the one where I'm only making money on. Hold on a second. <clears throat> Not that one. This one, that one, this one, that one. There's the one. All right, holler if you can see my screen now. You guys see my screen? Baba Booey? You should be looking at I can a, see uh, it. I can see it, and I've got a bunch of people saying yes. Hala, we can see it. All yes, right, rock yes, and roll, yes. everybody. Well, man, that guy had some passion before me. I think he was talking about forex, exciting. I love the passion. I love the passion. That's what this industry is all about. If you can find people that are passionate and enthusiastic about what they're doing, it, it helps you learn. It really does. Uh, I do this every day. Sounded like uh, our last uh, presenter does this every day. We're traders. Uh, I, I, I built what I'm doing out of uh, the days of AOL. Uh, yeah, I'm old. Uh, AOL chat rooms, you guys remember AOL? Yeah, dial up. Well, I ran a, a trading firm back in 98, 99. And uh, as we got more and more people entering the room, you know, they were kind of lost little children running around with money and they didn't know what to do with it. So I figured, let me start a, you know, a chat room to throw everybody in and throw a couple ideas out there. Obviously, you didn't have the fancy screen sharing. Uh, you couldn't talk over your screen. And, uh, you know, everything has evolved from there. But uh, I've been trading since day one, uh, the day when uh, electronic trading. If you, By the way, let me just reintroduce myself. Kenny Glick, everybody. All right. Uh, original name of my website was Suck My NASDAQ. Yeah, I'm kind of a joker. I, uh, I went to school for acting and television production. I was a stand-up comic. And uh, I was doing a show once and a gentleman came up to me at the end of the show wearing a suit. And I'm thinking, here is my big shot is uh, some sort of maybe uh, an agent or something. It turned out to be just some shady stockbroker. He said, hey, you're a funny guy. Why don't you come out and use your sense of humor to sell stocks? And there I was wearing the suit that I still had from my bar mitzvah, hightailing it out to Long Island out in, you know, corner of uh, New York and uh, all the movies that you saw, Boiler Room, Wolf of Wall Street, uh, anything that had to involve shady stockbrokers, that's where I worked. So, you know, quickly learning that it was not the place for me, I, uh, you know, took a few of my clients and 
Coincidentally, day trading was getting its start where they were building this system called Small Order Execution System, SOS for short. And it, would give, it was giving the little guys a, a little heads up and a little, uh, you know, more hands-on access to trade with the big boys. As a matter of fact, we had a system called SelectNet where you could actually send your order to Goldman Sachs or Merrill Lynch and, you know, Bank of America. And you could really see for the first time in, a, you know, forever, some of the tools that the institutions and the hedge funds and all the, the they were using. So now we could use it back at them. So the first thing I started learning was how to read the manipulation of the market, you know, dropping the bids, moving the offers. By the way, if you don't know what I'm talking about, um, bids or where they buy stocks, offers. What you're looking at on my screen right here, these are this is a level two. This is something you, you never had access to back before 99, 2000. Uh, down here, these are just tickers. In the middle is the main screen. This is a uh, think or swim. Everybody has access to it. What you're looking on the other sides is something called light speed. I like using tickers just to give me a heads up of what's going on. But the main thing in the middle is the, this is the level two. And back in the day, we didn't have access to this. You could see the depth of the market. You could see who's on the bid and the offer. And we just learned how to read the tape, so to speak, and follow where the money was going. And you would just see who's jump, jumping on the bid or who was on the offer. And you could tell, let's say Goldman Sachs was trying to buy this stock SOS, Goldman Sachs would keep going high bid. And you would just follow him and buy it on the offer and sell it to him on the bid. And it was really cool because, you know, like I said, for the first time in a long time, you were able to sell right to a market maker, get an idea of, you know, who was buying this stock. And really what it came down to was if Goldman Sachs was buying something, they would go high bid and you really got a feel for what, where you want it to be and, you know, what price that you should be looking for the stock. Fast forward light years ahead, um, 2012. Um, I started doing these classes and seminars just like we're in right now and a student came up to me and my red lines on the chart are typical just highs and lows of of candlesticks and um i go over this stuff repeatedly live and i do a uh, a seminar every six or seven weeks just like the one we're on right now just for a refresher for my people uh before i even jump on to what we're looking at on, as far as the charts concerned let me tell you about a little bit about what i've been doing and my my uh you know my status on the internet if you google me kenny glick you'll you'll see some funny videos you'll see some ridiculously awful videos most of them are self-deprecating and just ripping into myself about some of the mistakes i'm self-taught so i started to realize that most people appreciated my realness talking about how awful i've you know some awful experiences that i've had because we've all had them we've all made the same mistakes we've chased stocks we've we sold the lows we've bought the highs we've gotten jiggled out so to speak we've we thought we knew what we were doing when we didn't know what we were doing but in 2012 uh, after doing one of these courses somebody was looking at my you know my lines and said you know what you're plotting uh, volume weighted average price on your screen and you're not even using it and you're also using multi-day VWAP as well. And my first instinct, if you guys don't know what VWAP is for short, I mean, I'm jumping around a little bit. Sorry, I just ate three-day-old sushi and I'm on nine cups of coffee. So forgive me. Um, Volume-weighted average price is basically for me the EKG of the market. It really is a, a guide of strength. It's a guide of what side you want to be on. And it also it's a good indication of when trend or sentiment is changing. And when trend and sentiment is changing, that's usually where you want to go. That's where you want to be and that's where you want to place your money. But the most important part of volume weighted average price is the name itself. And as I was talking about it just briefly about following the market maker who you started to isolate on the level two, that was what we called the ax or the hammer the guy that's really controlling the, the action of the day. How about that's on a chart now? Because remember, if Goldman Sachs is a buyer, usually he's buying a lot. Volume weighted average price basically gives you a number based on volume, which is really the most important thing because that's where the money's going. So volume implies real money. Volume implies institutional ownership and institutional moves. And if you follow the VWAP, volume weighted average price you'll start to see how the market really gravitates to and from it so if you overshoot it to the upside you usually go back to it on the downside if you're under it and it breaks back above it usually you start moving back
back to the upside. And if you just thought that might sound too simple to be true, I'm going to give you just four examples today alone where not only did the price go to the VWAP, but something that we call multi-day VWAP. And as we've experimented with, with this since 2012, what we've noticed is if you get one VWAP and momentum and trend continue, you normally gravitate, or for your layman's, go to the prior day VWAP. So with your one minute VWAP, and what you're looking at right here is my, my, I've made these colors for me. You can make them any color you want on Thinkorswim. Your blue line is the one minute VWAP. That is what I call the EKG of the day. That's your test of strength, that's your, that's your trend. The dotted orange, I think it should be orange, or some people say it's yellow. That is your multi-day VWAP. So what you're looking at here is basically the same chart I've been looking at for uh, the last eight years. Nothing has changed. I really have honed my skills and it really has changed the way that I trade um, because now it's all I do. And it really, really just keeps you disciplined. Everything you hear about trading, cutting your losses, letting your winners run, staying disciplined, having a defined trade, Everything that you need to know about trading is all wrapped up into VWAP. Because if you just trade VWAP, you're instilling discipline in your trade. If you're only trading VWAP, you're trading near a level that's usually a pretty good entry. Even when it's not, your losses are limited. And if you're using VWAP and multiple time frame VWAPs, your risk reward is usually right there on the chart. So if you ever get into a trade and you don't know what you're hoping for, I mean, again, hope and faith, it's not an investment strategy. Buying a stock and hoping it goes up is, again, not an investment strategy, but that's basically how most people invest. Now, again, day trading, not investing. This is a, we're, we're doing something here and a great, it's a great stock that's just popped up is what I wanna show you pretty much how we made a month's worth of salary today in one day. It's coincidental. I don't believe in coincidences. I think this is the matrix talking to us. This is the stock that I traded this morning, EH. So I'm going to jump 50 light years ahead. and I'm going to walk you through why this trade was a, a, a viable trade, where the risk reward was. And I also want to take a moment to, to tell you, I'm not going to pitch you anything at the end of this seminar. I'm just going to repeat my name. My name's Kenny Glick. My website is hitthebid.com. What I do is I trade live in front of a studio audience for two or three weeks. I lay down what works for me. I have a couple of guys that I work with that have been trained under my strict tutelage and now have become moderators and really good traders themselves. And now they present while I'm doing this, they're doing, uh, they're running my chat room right now. So it's a, it's a great, uh, accomplishment for me knowing that other people have taken this and ran with it to the point where now they're able to teach it. So let's go through it. Um, if anybody knows what this EH stock was, I never heard of it. You know, there's a lot of stocks out there. What you're looking at right now is what it, this thing did. Uh, what you're looking at right now, this is just a nine month chart, just to give you an example. Nine months of basically going up got absolutely destroyed in one day. OK, now I didn't know anything about the stock except that it got destroyed yesterday. So a stock that got destroyed, meaning it went down a lot, there's usually going to be some short covering or maybe some dollar cost averaging on people that believe in the stock. Now, whether or not you believe in this company, to me, it's not a company. It's just EH. I don't know what they do. I don't care. I don't know what industry they're in. I don't care. All I know is this massive red candle usually will give me a buying opportunity. And if it didn't, I probably would have shorted this thing. So let's walk through the idea. So I came in this morning. Wow. Remember that EH stock? Oh, yeah. And what you're looking at right now, and again, this is what's really interesting, amazing about today's environment that we're in, is we're trading all the way at 4 o'clock in the morning. If you've got a good platform, you're starting to trade 4 o'clock in the morning. I mean, this is absolutely amazing. So this thing was trying to hang in there with some strength in the morning. Now, again, I like drawing lines where stocks got to and where they plummeted back to. So the top of this chart right here 
even though nobody's awake trading this unless you're a cyborg or you live in a different country, it got up to around 62.78. The blue line right here, and again, this is as simple as sometimes it can be. Look, just look briefly right here. As the stock broke out from this spot, rallied to here, now the blue line, which is your VWAP, your multiple time frame, I mean, sorry, your one minute VWAP, look what happens when it violates the blue line and then also coincidentally breaking down from the area it broke out from. So old school support resistance meets the VWAP and boom. You're getting hammered. This is a 12 point sell off, my friends. Now, again, nobody was up at five o'clock in the morning, all right, doing this trade. Maybe you were, maybe you weren't. Congratulations if you were there to short it. I don't wake up till about 8 15. So let's fast forward to 8 15. You had another attempt to rally there and then you got smoked again. So, all the people that were thinking about dollar cost averaging, they're already getting hammered. But that's where I start to get interested. Now that all these people from four o'clock and six, five o'clock and six o'clock are losing all their money, I want to come along and look for some, some support. So again, back to the idea of drawing lines from where the reactions were. I drew a line from the low print. I drew a line where it topped out at around 810 this morning. And then where it rolled back down to and made a new little area of support. Those became significant. So I just woke up. So let's just imagine, oh God, just woke up. All right, here we go. Oh, remember that EH stock? Oh my God, it's down another 12 points. Man, these guys are getting hammered. And within 15 minutes, it's starting to shape up for what I call the VWAP reversal trade. Now again, not a full-blown reversal. My favorite trade is the ones that go over the VWAP and go back into the green. Obviously this stock is far from going green at 44.90 by the way let me put it up there for you on the uh, level two so yesterday's closing price would be 46.30 that would be your reversal so in order for a stock to reverse meaning change its trend usually it starts with a bottoming process like this you don't know this is the bottom until it starts to become the bottom and then that rollover where it doesn't break down under a new low so cool now we got an idea that maybe the sellers are getting exhausted. They're done selling this thing. They've given up. All right, it was 120, now it's at 38 bucks. We're done crushing this thing, let's look to buy. When are they really gonna make their decision? Consolidation, and there's the VWAP break. Now I wanna take, a, I want you to guys to focus in on what I'm gonna show you right here. This is what we're looking at right now is called the one minute multi-day VWAP chart. The multi-day VWAP at the time was 61.25. So what's that telling me? It's telling me that yesterday's VWAP combined with today's action is 61.25. And the idea is if it breaks through the one minute VWAP and starts getting some trend, I could expect the stock to get to 61.25. Are you out of your mind? Stocks at $45. There's no way this is going to 61. They were accused of fraud yesterday. Okay, cool. And again, I don't care what the story is. I don't care what stock it is. I don't care. I just want to watch VWAP because that is the language of the market. The language of the market, the algorithms, the they, the institutions, everyone we're fighting every day. They're using VWAP. The quant firms are programming, programming around VWAP. The guys that are leaving their desk are using VWAP. And consistently now, since 2012, I've proved that this trade works over and over again. And also remember, my name is Kenny Glick. My website is hitthebid.com. I never ask anybody for any money, no credit cards needed, no obligation. Just show up, hang out with me for a couple of weeks, me and my friends, my lunatic friends. Hang out with us for a couple of weeks, two weeks, usually you'll we don't bother you for like three weeks. And if you like what we're doing, if you like what we're laying down and you like the way we talk and you like hanging out with us, then you finally plop down some money and then we jump you into our gang and then you can't leave. But let me go through this trade. Without knowing what the fraud was and what the accusations were, I'm a buyer of this stock because I know, and I don't know a lot, but I know when stocks have gotten hammered, and they've consolidate under the VWAP. When they break it, 
that triggers what? It triggers the buyers to get excited. But more importantly, it triggers the shorters that had their way with this stock to say, you know what? I think it's time to cover and move on from this one. So we're buying this stock at 44.79 this morning. You get this move already up, you're already up to 47.50. And then the magic. Here is the magic. We call it the kissback. It comes back to the VWAP just to test the strength of the stock. If it would have broke down under here, chances are we would have started getting stopped out right at the level where it held before. And those lines that we drew from those reaction lows would have been our stops on the way back down. Again, nothing's guaranteed. But when something happens to work a lot, you keep doing that trade. We've at about a, I don't know, let's, I don't want to throw some crazy number at you, but let's say it works a lot. BWAP break right there, starts to rally, tests it, and then makes another move. Look at the price of the stock. We're talking about an entry from 44.80. The stock got up to $50. Now, again, my goal in life is to work as little as possible as, and do the easiest job I could possibly find. Don't have to leave the house. I don't have a boss. I never shower. I've been wearing the same sweatshirt for about a week and a half now. And within a half an hour, even before the market opened up, I've made not just a day's pay, again, depending on what your goal is, maybe two days pay, maybe three days pay. Let's call it three days worth of earnings as far as I'm concerned on this trade. 44 and 75 entry, you're selling this thing. I love a whole number. So at 47.50 on the way back up, I took some profit there. And then 47.50, I started selling in, in little bit increments at 48, 49. And then at 50, I'm out because I was pretty happy with that trade. Now, look, it went up to 51.77 after I got out. Yeah, I was a little upset that I left some money on the table. But look what happens momentarily after that. You double top at that price. And I just taught you about the kissback, right? It comes back and says, hey, what's up, VWAP? You still strong? Yeah, buddy. Yeah, we are. Yeah, we're going to crush the shorts any second now. Is that right? Yeah. Watch what we're going to do now. Okay, take care, buddy. So it refreshes at the VWAP. The shorts are in trouble now because they're waiting for this thing to roll over and die. And the guys that are still long the stock are breathing a sigh of relief. Oh, it didn't break the VWAP. Now we could probably buy more. So. Boom, off to the races it goes. Now, keeping in mind that our original target was 61.35, how about a new entry coming off that VWAP? And once again, you are defining your risk. So you know it double bottomed at the VWAP, that's gonna be your first line of defense. You know the VWAP from before is gonna be your second line of defense. And if you really wanna be tight about it, you're not gonna let it go all the way down to 38 at this point. I like using three areas of concern, the new VWAP, my old VWAP, and the range where it kind of broke out from earlier. So that's my stop. So the risk is defined. I know if I'm in, let's call it 900 shares, 300 shares are going to be stopped out here, 300 more and 300 more over here. I never get out of my entire position at one price. That's the way to stay in your trade. Also, how many times have we had the experience where you sell all of your stock and then it stops going down and goes right back up and you're like, oh no, it's going up without me now. Ugh. The way to prevent that is never sell your whole entire position at one price because sometimes you'll get stopped out of a little bit and then it makes its turn and you're still in some of it, even on the way out. So even when you're losing money, just you shouldn't get out of your entire position at one price. So on the way up, we did the same thing again by selling it in increments. And this time we got paid even more than the original trade because look at this monster move. So buying it again at 47.50, now we're selling again at 50 a little bit. Now we're getting to that top of that range right there, 52, why not take some profit? And then comes that little moment of truth where it starts to roll over. Oh no, I should have sold it all here. Nah, buddy, you took some profits. You got money in hand now. Now let it breathe, baby. Let the VWAP be your guide, my man. 
and you will be a happy, happy trader. The one minute VWAP is your protector. Your goal is 61.34. Now you're in this stock again at 47.50 and sliggity ding dang, you're selling this thing at $61. You got 400 shares of the stock. You just made yourself four or 5,000. And that's not where the trade ended. Because if the trend continues through the one minute and the multi-day, why don't we take a look at where the VWAP was collectively for two days? Now watch this. Oh my God. Now the price is 66. Look where the stock went. Oh my God, Kenny, this is incredible. So now I got a one minute. You got to the first multi-day. And if you're continuing to trend, I have my charts program, which I give everybody my code once they become a secret society member. How about a three-day VWAP? Watch this. So now we're taking today's one minute. Always the living, breathing VWAP is the blue line. Dotted orange line. Now you're at $67 and you went there. Oh my God, Kenny, could this thing go any higher? How about a four-day VWAP? Let's check it out. And bang. Right there. Now, again, ignore the fact that it went back above it. Look at the double top action right at the price. This is where I love doing this live because this is not me saying how smart I am. This is not me saying, oh, I'm so much better than everybody else. This is a number that was spit out on my chart based on algorithmic, numerical, quantitative, volume weighted average price and it spits it on the chart and once again gives you a nice area so if i'm thinking this stock could go to 70 and i'm in even if i'm buying it at 56 20 i could gauge my risk reward by the one minute and my goal is the multi-day so every time you do a trade using vwap your risk is going to be defined your targets are on the chart most of the time, and it alleviates that fear because you're setting it and, oh, I thought there was a studio audience here, forget it. Set it and forget it. You know, come on, let's get on a uh, Shark Tank, baby. If you know your risk reward in every trade you do and you stay disciplined, Remember, I could show you a trade that works 98% of the time and you'll figure out a way to screw it up. You know why? Because that one trade that doesn't go right and you refuse to obey the VWAP and you don't take the loss, next thing you know, you're getting blown out. And you're thinking, man, I thought this trade works 90% of the time, Kenny, you stink. I told you, if the one doesn't work, you get out. Remember, limited risk means you got to take the loss when the loss is presented. Because these trades work really, really well, but when they don't, you got to get out. And that's where some people mess up because ego gets in the way. And what does that mean? Who wants to take a loss, right? Your ego gets in the way. Well, Kenny said it works 90% of the time. I guess it'll just work out in the end. It's not how it works. That one losing trade will wipe out 10 good trades. You want to have the one good trade compensating for your five or six bad trades if you get them. So let's talk about a, a couple of other trades. Again, this was a monster. This was a, a week maker, a, a month maker, even, you know, could have been a year maker for somebody, you know, if they put on enough size. Again, I don't talk about size. Size is about comfort. I know that sounds graphic and sexual, but size is about what you're comfortable trading. If you're not comfortable trading a $38 stock with 600 shares, take your size down to a 100 shares. If you're not comfortable trading $70 stocks, don't look at $70 stocks. So let's look at another one. Uh, something like uh, some crazy stock we were looking at this morning, Dogs, D-O-G-Z. Never heard of it, don't care. I'm just looking for action around the VWAP, right? So let's take a look. Look at this crazy move in the beginning of the day. This is D-O-G-Z. Know nothing about it. I'm sure they cured cancer in dogs. Don't care. Dogness International, whatever. It's a stock. It's a symbol. It's a price. I'm ready. Ripping up all pre-market. 
Next thing you know, we're VWAP traders. Well, whatever they're doing over there at Dogs, it looks like the jig is up because this thing's rolling over. It's breaking right there. You're kind of breaking the levels that it held on the last pullback. More importantly, you're breaking those levels and you're breaking the VWAP, the trend setter, the indicator from the Lord. Now you're breaking VWAP. You want to be a shorter of the stock. And check out, check out this trade. This is 555 and your multi-day VWAP's all the way down there. So that's your ultimate goal. You're risking basically 30 cents. And the idea was that you were looking to make two bucks. If you could risk 30 cents to make two bucks on every trade, you're going to be all right. So again, what do I do every day? This is what you see. I, I come on live. I find ideas. We walk you through it. We show you how to use the VWAP. And the best part about the VWAP is that it's the only thing you'll ever need ever again to trade. If you look on the studies, look at all the studies here. Somebody swears by every one of these. Here's the uh, the market strength. Uh, I don't know. There's, there's about 275,000 indicators and, and things that you could put on your chart. I'm showing you you could do one thing. It's a combination of one thing. It's one minute VWAP and what we call multiple time frame VWAP. So let's fast forward into the regular session. Same stock. Now that it's got hammered, what we do is we're looking for a reason to buy. All right, sorry, I didn't mean to draw that line. Get rid of that. You see what this is forming right here? Now, get ready to chuckle, kids. This is what we call the multi-day ass crack breakout. Yeah, you heard me correct. You're not gonna read about that in books unless you got my book. It's the multi-day ass crack reversion trade. So you see it right here. It tried to rally to this top, rolled over, but didn't break a new low. Kind of got an ass crack right here. Butt cheek, butt cheek, top of the crack. Above the multi-day, you're thinking, hey, maybe the buyers are starting to come back into this thing. Breaking over the ass crack, breaking over the one minute. And next thing you know, you could be buying this stock right here at 385. You got over the one minute. Trend is in your favor. This thing's popping up to 550, 450. Again, risk defined if you're buying it here. Multi-day is your protector. Bottom of the range as your stop. Next thing you know, you got a long trade on the stock. Now, fast forward to what happened. Kind of blow off top right there. Again, we're trading VWAP. So again, I wasn't around. I wasn't watching this stock after we had some fun with it. Then I noticed this. Breaks down under the one minute. Breaks through the multi-day. Usually, it's a short. So what happens here? It comes back, we call it the kiss back, but this time it's coming back from underneath and can't stay above it. What do you think that's telling you? That's telling you that the sellers are still in control. So maybe look for a new short at 395 using 415 as you're out. And then look what happened to the stock. One last gasp of air. <gasps> and it sinks beneath the waves. And I don't know what dogs is, but that's a good name for it. It's probably gonna be a dog because usually these pumps get dumped and you never hear from them again. And that's how we trade. So it's an extraordinary tool because it is the institutional tool. It is what the real players are looking at. It is telling you where the money is going. So if you follow VWAP and you trade around the VWAP, it'll take what you think you know, and I don't want to insult anybody, but we know nothing. We know nothing. Uh, think of this as an AA meeting or an Aleron or I don't know if you guys have alcoholics in the family or people who are addicted to things. You've gone to the meetings. Remember, you have to admit you're powerless. In 2013, I admitted I truly thought I knew about the market and I realized I knew nothing. And now I just watch the VWAP. And it's kept me, I'm not going to say I'm sane, but it's kept me safe because I love shorting stocks. And the first thing I noticed was you better not be shorting stocks that are breaking back over the VWAP. And that was the first trade I started to notice. So if you can't stay short a stock break in the VWAP, you better be buying because that is a trigger. The shorts are covering, the algorithms are piling in, the longs get encouraged, and it's been a fantastic trade. And again, don't take my word for it. Come and join us every day for two or three weeks. You'll see this stuff on the chart. And it's absolutely mind-blowing when stocks go to and from 
this price. So let me just show you one more trade uh, that we did. Um, I think I have uh, a little bit more time, 2.30. Yeah, I got about 10 more minutes. And just remember, my name's Kenny Glick. The website's hit the bid. VWAP for life. VWAP for your mind. VWAP will change the way you look at the market. It'll save you. It'll save you from yourself and all the dumb ideas that you're probably going to do with your money. So before anything, go learn a little bit about VWAP, volume weighted average price. Come to our site, listen to us talk. All we do is trade VWAP. It's extraordinary. So let's talk about one more trade. There was a SONO trade, okay? Absolutely mind-blowing. Uh, but there was one more. Uh, it was FUBO, all right? Because this one was even more extraordinary because this was one of my faves. And you get the one minute, into the multi-day and then you get paid. So here's another stock, very volatile, kind of scary, chopping around. So what do you see at the bottom here? I've already drawn the lines for you. Kind of looks like that ass crack I was talking about, right? The ass crack breaks, it gets almost to the VWAP and then comes back and tests the crack of the ass and then the magic happens. So they've trapped the shorts down here, you've come out of the bottom range, but then the magic was right there. You test, they tried to shake those guys out one more time. Next thing you know, back above the VWAP, boom. You're Now you're ripping through the multi-day and look at this move. And for us, we don't have any illusions or delusions. I don't care what these stocks do tomorrow. I don't care what these companies do. I don't know what Fubo is. I don't care. These are letters, prices, numbers, blue lines, and orange lines. And that's the way I trade now. And it keeps me, like I said, sane because I don't care. Not caring goes a long way in trading. Not caring is synonymous with keeping your emotions out of the game. How do you keep your emotions out of the game? Trade the VWAP. These are prices and letters and lines. That's it. So if you know the blue line, when it gets, when a stock's under the blue line and you break through it and you generally gravitate towards the orange line, you know that that's the trade, your risk is defined, then start looking at multiple time frame VWAP. So let's go back to the one day. So one day was here, check it out. Then your two day was there. Look how you kind of pause there for a second, not a coincidence because the algorithms are programmed to sell and buy around multiple time frames look at the volume spiking here and then you got your three-day move and then you only had a couple more vwaps to choose from four and look how you basically made a little home there between the one minute and the multi-day so again it's not an exact science every time you're not going to go to these prices to the penny every time but if you have a, a guide much easier to trade much easier to trade you're lost in the woods. You're lost in the woods. Somebody pops up out of the bushes and says, let me be your guide. You're going to take his hand and he's going to maneuver your way through the bushes before you get. Without VWAP, you're a little piggy. Let me show you another one. S-O-N-O, -O. all right? This one's even more extraordinary. Actually, I thought it was the Fubo that was better. This is Sono. So Sono, been uh, doing pretty well lately. Obviously, 90% of stocks are doing well lately. Sono, a little choppy in the beginning of the day, rolls over. Next thing you know, is probably a short. You got a one-minute multi-day ripping down. But then out of nowhere, you're back above the multi-day. And most importantly, what happens when stocks break back over the one minute? The short's got to cover. The long's getting excited. The money gets divided. Now you're broke and it's no joke. It's hard as hell to fight it. Don't fight it. Freeze. Rock. Sorry. Sorry, I have a white lines, Tourette's. But it's true. It's really sometimes this simple. You get over that blue line. You know these guys are going to look to cover. 
You know there's going to be guys that are out there looking at dollar cost average. You know there's people out there that just trade the VWAP like me and my crew. Trading is a self-fulfilling prophecy. If 100 people believe that the VWAP trade is going to work, it's going to work. If 10,000 people now think it's going to work, it's going to work. So everybody in here, you could join us and become part of VWAP Nation and believe in the VWAP. It's just going to help us all in the end. Because trading is just a self-fulfilling prophecy. If we all believe it's going to work and we know it works and we continue to trade the VWAP, these breaks are going to be even better. Because look at this entry. This is 35.65. You got ripped up to 36 and a quarter. You know what that is? It's a couple of days pay right there. And again, for us, this is not investing. We are not looking to what these stocks are going to do three months from now. Nobody knows. As much as you want to well, not anybody in here, but the illusion and the delusion and the fraudulent mindset of Wall Street is that you're paying people because they're smarter than you. Nobody's smarter than you. We have the tool that they're using. We're on the same footing right here. Whatever they're looking at, we're looking at. How could they be any smarter? We know what to do. So they're going to claim that they're smarter than us. Guess what? Everybody is a genius, even Kathy Wood, whoever, whoever that is. Everyone's a genius when the market goes up for nine straight months. Bring me some volatility. Bring me some fear. And then we'll see who rises to the top. I've been in the business for 30 years. And the reason I do it the way I do it is that I love to prove not how smart I am. I guess savvy is the good word for it. I'm pretty good at reading the tea leaves. That is the VWAP, which puts me ahead of the game. And it's keeping me in business. And it's such an easy concept to learn. It's basically repetition. The more you see it happen, the more you believe. The more you start putting it to use, you'll see how the results start pouring in. Discipline instilled. Risk reward staring at you in the chart on the chart. It is the way for you Mandalorian fans. It is the only way. I will never have another moving average on my chart. I will never ever buy options before earnings report. So if anybody's talking about, and by the way, if anybody's here, not to uh, insult people, but I do a lot of that inadvertently. If anyone's telling you to buy options before earnings reports come out, they're a fraud because nobody knows what the stock's going to do. I know that's not part of my seminar, but I want to remind everybody, never buy options before earnings reports come out. By the way, I teach you a little bit about options. I do everything. I've been doing this for 30 years. Come and hang out with my crew. Never buy options before earnings reports come out because if you know anything about options, When's the most expensive option? When the volatility is at its peak. When is that peak? The moment before they report earnings. So now you have to compensate for the ripoff that you just got ripped off on the option contract itself. And let's not forget, you're guessing what's going to happen to the stock. So what we do, like that EH trade or the Sono trade, we wait for the uh, lack of a better word, morons. We wait for the morons who want to gamble their money away to lose it all. And then we come in with a real plan around the VWAP and we take their money. Because let's face it, this is a war we're in. We're at battle. We're at battle with ourselves. We're at battle with market makers. We're at battle with algorithms. But when you have VWAP as your laser gun, or your Jewish space laser, if you will, because that's my porn name in Israel. If you've got your ammunition and you believe and you know it works, you're unstoppable. So come to hitthebid.com. Come and see what me and my crew do. No strings attached. Please don't give us a credit card number. We don't want it. Come and see what we do. Witness it. Love it. Be a part of it. And you'll be begging me to take your money. All right?
Nice hanging out. <laughs> that Kenny was Glick. awesome. Kenny yeah. Glick, uh, hitthebid.com. I love you all. Good luck. Hey. And uh, may the force hey, be with Kenny. you. Kenny, we had a bunch of questions, uh, but we're not going to have time for them. I'll send you the list so you can see who was talking. Jennifer, I'm going to see if I can get him to answer some of your questions. And uh, everybody else, thanks for tuning in and for inputting. Uh, Kenny, as always, a pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you so and, much. Uh, I, I love doing it. All right, guys, so good luck. Fun. Thanks a lot. I'll see have you a, soon. Have a great day. You too. <laughs> All right, we're going to jump over to our last speaker of the day. I'm always going to live a little bit sad when we come down to the end of the day. I uh, just want to remind you, if you had to, if you have to go before it's over with it, you're not going to miss a thing because we have it posted at tradersexclusive.com forward slash archived underscore webinars. And uh, with that, I want to introduce to you our uh, our closing speaker for the day. His name is Micah Lamar, and I am uh, he's with Wall Street IO. And he's going to talk to us about the million dollar strategy from 250K to 1.5 million in under two years. Mike, I hope that's the right title. Um, CEO of AAPL Trader and WallStreet.io. Micah Lamar is an expert stock and options trader with a specialization in taking complex cycle analyses, indicators, and breaking them down into easy to follow steps. Micah also authored the WallStreet.io Stock and Option University program. Micah is most famous for writing the number one rated Apple Investment Strategy Guide. This book covers the seven steps to boosting your swing trade probability. Now that was a mouthful, but uh, let me just get back to where I can create and turn you into our presenter. And Yes, and you may need to, ah, yes. Can you hear me, Micah? Can you, can we hear you? I sure can. I can Excellent. hear you great, thank you so much. And it looks like I'm now sharing my screen. Hopefully everybody can awesome. see my screen and hear me okay. How does it sound? I can see your screen and I can hear you and I'm gonna see, uh, we have, everybody say yes if you can hear and see. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Awesome. All right, now let's see if you can see that. Where I pass it to you. Okay, wonderful. I will mute myself and take it away. Right on, thank you so much for the warm welcome. Today we're gonna to be talking a lot about swing trading uh, using a strategy that I call the payday cycle. The payday cycle is a really cool and unique strategy designed to catch swings in stocks that generally happen for about six to eight days. Today, when I give you the rules for the strategy, I'm also gonna be validating and back testing the strategy and showing you all the kind of performance on how it's worked over the years, when it works, when it doesn't work. I think you're really gonna be impressed uh, with the strategy. If you're interested in swing trading, you can apply this to all sorts of other stocks besides Apple, which is gonna be my main example here. Uh, the Qs, it works really great on, and a lot of other tech stocks, FANG stocks, everything like that. So um, looks like everybody can hear me and see my screen okay. And so let's just go ahead and get started. Today I wanna to discuss the payday cycle, but in the context of this, um, we're calling it the million dollar strategy. Um, we've been using it, or I've been using it at Wall Street AO for about 12 years. And over the last few years, we've taught it to uh, several thousand people. And we've been getting a lot of really positive feedback from them uh, recently regarding the strategy. And I got this message from one of our members here named Bob. And he's been trading only Apple pretty much exclusively. And since 2019, uh, following the strategy, he was able to turn a quarter million dollars into $1.5 million. He uses options, but he basically has a, a very basic understanding of them. And I actually called Bob and talked to him a little bit about the strategy. Uh, specifically he was using and how he had adapted my payday cycle strategy into his trading. And so I've got some really interesting and great notes for you today. Essentially, he was using my payday cycle strategy, which is designed to catch these, you know, four to eight day swings in the stock. He was using them with calls, a little adaptive to the call strategy that I generally use. I'm usually about 30 days out. He was going 90 days out in his calls, uh, a couple strikes out of the money, which is uh, what we were both doing. 
and he had a, started with a quarter million dollars. He was putting about 10 to 15% of his account in each trade. And he started snowballing his account. And he was essentially taking a lot of his profits and buying Apple shares with it over the last couple of years. He's accumulated about 3,500 shares now. And he's now using that to sell covered calls out of the money about two weeks out, a couple strikes out of the money. And uh, his last trade, he closed for about $200,000 of profit. And so he's, as his account has grown, he's been increasing his position size. He started with about 10 to 15% of his quarter million in, in the trades. And uh, his last couple of trades, he did a couple hundred contracts. He started out with about 20 contracts. Now he's doing a couple hundred contracts. And he's accumulated so much wealth, he was able to buy thousands of shares of Apple with his profits. And now he sells covered calls on them. It's a really fantastic strategy where you're able to, you know, leverage some of the uh, behavior of uh, shorter term options um, and these swings that I'm going to show you here in a moment and using that profit to buy something that's a little bit more uh, stable long term because the shares are going to be good. You know, I don't see Apple going bankrupt anytime soon and using those to then generate cash flow. I was talking with Bob here just a couple of weeks ago, and he was saying that he thinks he's going to make about 300 grand a year off of selling covered calls from the stock that he purchased from the profits of the strategy. And he's pretty much set now. So what I'd like to do is kind of show you the strategy that I taught Bob and how he's adapted a little bit and how other people in our community are currently uh, using it right now to swing trade Apple, Qs, and a bunch of other stocks. Does that all sound good? Everybody with me? Very, very cool. All right, so the million dollar strategy, again, at the foundation is a buy and sell signal that's very successful. I call it the payday cycle strategy. It's a strategy that I discovered slash invented about a decade ago. And let me just go right into how it works. We're gonna use a daily Heiken Ashi chart. And in its simplest form, we're gonna be buying at the close of the first green bar and selling at the close of the red bar here. How many people here are familiar with a Heiken Ashi chart? Go ahead and let me know. I um I must warn you, I, I love super interactive webinars, so I'm going to be asking a lot of questions throughout today's presentation and getting a lot of good feedback from everybody and just making sure everybody's on the same page as me with the strategy. The biggest thing there is I really just want everybody to have a, a solid strategy that you can take away with you at the end of the day. And to do that, I just want to kind of check in with everybody throughout today's workshop. Okay, so a couple people, yeah, no. Okay, cool. So... I'm going to walk you through the Heiken Ashi chart here in a moment, but it's important to understand that the tool we're using at the baseline of this strategy is the Heiken Ashi chart. Again, we're going to be buying at the close of the first green daily Heiken Ashi bar. We're going to be selling on the close of the first red one. Okay, so here's your standard Q's chart. This is your candlestick chart that probably a lot of you are used to using. Here's your Heiken Ashi chart. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of flick back and forth here a couple times and when I do this, I want you to start to look at the key differences between these two charts. It's the exact same time frame. Each one is a daily chart. Each one has a candle that represents one day of trading. Now, I want you to ask yourself, and maybe even type it in the chat room, what are the key differences that you see in in between these two charts? What are some of the key differences that you see between these two charts? And go ahead and post them up, and I'll, I'll read them out as we as we go. So here are the main differences that most people see. And one of the reasons that I love using this chart for my swing trading, I've taken a snapshot of Apple here in the same time frame for both candlestick and a Heiken Ashi. Notice that the candlestick becomes a little bit more choppy, makes it a little bit harder to read the trend. The cycles are less clear and that makes it a little harder to trade from. The Heiken Ashi chart smooths out the trend. It makes it easier to see the cycles, very clear cycles. And again, that makes it a lot easier to trade from. So you can kind of see some of the main differences in these two charts, okay? So a lot of people say that, you know, it eliminates a lot of the noise, which is true. It makes it easier to see the directionality, which is true. So we're all on the same page with that. Okay, so again, in its simplest form, buying at the close of the first green and selling at the close of the first red, okay? So some of the results of this strategy versus buy and hold, we're just again, taking a look at the cues. Whenever you're using an active strategy versus a buy and hold, the goal of that strategy should be to generate what's called alpha. Alpha is a return greater than what the stock or S&P performance uh, is. And the other big goal is to eliminate some of the volatility uh, in a buy and hold strategy. 
in 2018, if you had bought and hold the queues, you would have lost money this year. With this strategy, you would have made just under 20%. So instead of losing 1%, you would have made about 19% in 2018. Again, one of the goals of any kind of active strategy versus just to buy and hold is to generate a little bit more consistent revenue or profits for yourself. So some of the highlights just for the queues is, you know, we recently had eight winners in a row. And on average, if you're going to use the strategy on the queues, it's going to be good for about seven days on average. So let's go ahead and take a closer look. We're on a platform right now that I created for our community called Wall Street AO. And one of our main goals when we created this platform was to make it really easy for people to backtest their ideas. And whenever they look at an indicator, we really wanted to make it simple for them to backtest and validate that indicator and its performance before they went and put money to work. So here again, we're looking at Apple. And here's your candlestick chart. And here's your Heiken Ashi chart. Just visually, you can see that the performance is pretty cool. You can see, again, the stock tends to cycle for about six to eight days in a row before cycling back down. The objective of the strategy to the long side is to catch these waves. And you can do it with stock. You can do it with options. I'm more of an options trader myself. But that's the main objective. Sometimes you get waves that last uh, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 days. Uh, sometimes you only get waves that last a couple days. Okay, But the objective here is to catch these waves and catch them as long as you can. Now, most platforms will have the Heiken Nashi chart, by the way. Your Think, Your Swims, all of these charting applications will have them. One of the challenges in using a Heiken Nashi chart outside of Wall Street AO is uh, you're forced to kind of eyeball whether or not it works. And again, that's probably one of the largest challenges with using uh, any indicator on your chart that you haven't validated. So what we did at Wall Street AO is we created a really cool backtesting tab that allows us to actually backtest the performance of the Heiken Ashi chart and also add different indicators to it, like moving averages, MACD, stochastics, RSI, anything that you want to backtest with it as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and load that up right now on the backtest tab, which is the Heiken Ashi here. So what, again, we're testing is buying on the first green bar, selling on the first red bar, which is the simple formula that I gave you before. So I'm gonna click the view stats and here are the stats right now. If you just use the strategy in its simplest form with Apple, okay, the batting average is 48% over the last three years. You could see 48 wins, 53 losses with a 1.7 risk reward. So you might be asking yourself, how is this strategy profitable with such a low batting average? The answer to that really comes from the average gain to average loss, which helps us generate our risk reward formula. With an average gain of 3.55 and an average loss of only negative two, you have a really good risk reward. So even with a batting average close to 50%, you actually can make money over time, and that's why this strategy is so consistent. Now, I'm going to show you a couple cool tricks that I use to really boost up my risk reward and batting average, um, and also just overall make the strategy a lot more profitable. One of my main goals when I do that, I have three goals really. I want to improve my batting average. I want to increase my risk reward. But these bars right here also, I want to have them all green across the board. Each one of these bars represents the profitability or not of this strategy every year for the last 10 years. And so while the strategy is fairly consistent, you can see there's a couple years it would have lost money, which you know, is a bit of a downer. So what I'm gonna do right now is gonna show you how to kind of eliminate some of those uh, losses. More importantly, how to know when they're likely gonna happen so you can just not trade them in the first place and just kind of sit on your hands. And they come in the form of what I consider to be a, a false start, okay? So what is a false start? A false start is in the strategy when you have your first green bar, but there's no follow through, okay? It happened here, here, and here. So essentially, we had three false starts over the last couple of weeks, and then we kind of rolled over. Had you used the simple formula of buy on the first green, sell on the first red, you would have lost the last three times, okay? Now... Thankfully, I've got something that I add to this strategy that prevents me from taking the trade in the first place. But again, let me highlight a few more false starts for you. Okay, there's a couple more there. Okay, there is one here. Everybody kind of with me on these false starts? These are the these are the kind of trades that you don't like to take because if you do take them, they result in a loser. Why is it important to analyze your trades and potentially cut out your losing trades? Well, what that's going to do, again, it's going to increase your batting average, your risk reward, and overall profitability. A lot of you can probably think of a handful of trades that you've taken um, 
where the loss wiped out a lot of your winners. And had you not taken those losses, your overall profitability at the end of the year would have been a lot greater. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to eliminate these false starts out of our strategy before we even take the trade. So as you can see, I've just gone ahead and highlighted about seven or eight times Apple had a false start. Again, this is where a lot of these losses were coming from. Otherwise, you can see the strategy is crazy successful, catching beautifully all of these big moves. Now, when you trade a stock like Apple or any of these stocks and you buy calls 30 to 90 days out, a couple strikes out of the money and the stock moves 10, 15, 20 dollars, you're going to make 100, 200, 300 percent on your money. Fairly simple, fairly simple for that to happen. OK, now, again, the key is keeping that money. And to do that, you have to eliminate these false starts. So what I like to do inside our platform here on Wall Street AO is I like to add the MACD to our to our strategy. And what we've discovered over the years is that when the MACD is crossed the bears and trending down like it is right here and like it was right here, when this is the case, the bullish payday cycles to the upside are generally shorter in length and they're more likely to show up as a false start, which means you're probably better off just not taking the trade in the first place. Okay. What we've also discovered is that when the MACD is bullish and cross the bulls like it is here, the bullish payday cycles are a lot longer in length to the upside. So overall, you're just going to be a lot more profitable by avoiding the bullish trades when the MACD is bearish. So if we were to take and highlight some of these really bearish MACD periods, you can see a lot of them right, correlate perfectly when a lot of these false starts happen. Again, if you just avoid trading Apple to the upside when the MACD is bearish, you're going to be a lot better off. And it's not just me saying that. You can see that this strategy has actually been profitable every year for the last 10 years in a row, and the strategy goes back even before that. Okay, so now what we've done is we now have a strategy that says buy on the first green of the Heiken Ashi bar, sell on the first red, but only buy it if the MACD is also showing bullish. If the MACD is bearish, you probably should avoid the strategy uh, during this time, just sit on your hands. Now, when we add the MACD to the strategy, our risk reward goes from 1.7 to 2.3, and our bat batting average skyrockets up to 63%. Now we have a strategy with an average gain of 2.69, an average loss of only negative 1.19. So we've cut our average loss a ton, we've increased our overall risk reward, and now we have a strategy that can be leveraged over time, over and over and over again. And so this is the baseline of the strategy that Bob used. I taught Bob this strategy. It's been working for me for about 12 years since I first discovered it. I've now taught it to thousands of people, probably 10,000 people. Uh, Bob leveraged the strategy a little bit different than I do because I like to buy calls about 30 days out. He went about 90 days out. That was basically the only difference. And in just under two years, he turned a quarter million into 1.5 million. And like I said, he took a lot of those profits uh, and he bought about 3,500 shares slowly over time. And now he's expecting to make about 300 grand a year by selling covered calls on his shares. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. And um, we're really happy with it. And so just want to stop there for a moment uh, to see if there's any questions. I've basically just given you the million dollar strategy. Uh, I've been using it again for a long time. A lot of our community members use it. And the the whole idea here behind the strategy is to catch cycles that are already happening anyways. And second, to eliminate the high risk points so that you don't take the strategy or don't trade it when it's more of a riskier time, which is again, when the MACD is bearish. And when you do that, you get a strategy that has an incredible set of stats behind it. Something that you can rely on to work year after year after year. And as you can see, it's actually becoming more and more profitable as the years uh, come along, which is really cool. Now, one of the things that we built at Wall Street AO is we built a really great way for our community members to improve upon strategies. And so just to kind of give everybody a little bit of a, um, uh, a background on that, because I think it's important here, is when we built this backtesting platform here, we had a couple of objectives. We wanted to build a really cool drag and drop backtester that allows you to do what's called probability stacking. Probability stacking is where you stack more than one indicator or signal together to increase your overall probability of success, which is what I've done here with the Heiken Ashi and the MACD. Now, we also wanted to make it so that it was instantly testable. So that if I change something here, 
right? The results show up in just one or two seconds over here for us, and you can see that decreased the overall performance. So we had a huge hurdle from an engineering standpoint to build this, but we were able to successfully do it. Now, as the Wall Street Ale community has grown, we're now well over a thousand community members. We've got a thriving social network filled with people posting uh, thoughts and ideas all day. We have now uh, expanded our live trade room into six different trade rooms because our community has grown so much. We knew based on the performance and the emails we we're getting from our community members that they were be, uh, being incredibly successful and profitable with some of the strategies that we were teaching. Again, these strategies were all back tested and validated on our own on the platform. Now, what we wanted to do is we wanted to leverage the brains of our entire community. And so what we did is we built our back testing platform in this really unique way so that every time one of our really smart community members comes into our backtest tab and backtests an idea, it automatically pings our server and gets pushed through a 10-factor rating system. We then take the best strategies discovered by our community members and make them available to everybody in our community via the Discover tab. So what the Discover tab gives you, it gives you insight into the very best strategies that have already been discovered by our community members. So I would love to sit here and say that I've personally created the best strategies on Wall Street AO, uh, which unfortunately is for me is, is not true, but fortunately for everybody else, you get the benefit of all the other brains that are at work. So while I'm the CEO of Wall Street AO, I knew that the combined power of everybody's brain was going to be a lot stronger than mine by myself. So what ended up happening with our with my Apple strategy that I just taught you here is this Apple strategy I just taught you it was it's really great strategy and it showed up for our members in the discover tab under Apple as one of the best strategies. Now our members then took this strategy and started to play around with it. They started to play around with it and they started to make really subtle improvements to the strategy. And in doing so, we now have a couple of Apple strategies that have skyrocketed performance. I'm gonna bring up a couple of them for you just here in a second. And the performance has been so great, they're now outperforming buy and hold, and they're now actually outperforming the actual um, strategy that I originally started with. Now this wouldn't have been available without the way that this improvement cycle got created. Here's one right here as an example. This Apple strategy has a 91% batting average, 31 wins and only three losses over the last few years. And at its baseline is my Heiken Ashi strategy. So what I'm trying to kind of communicate is that we've created this amazing improvement or feedback loop for our community members. And as we grow, it becomes more powerful where our community took my strategy that I invented 10 years ago and they've grown and developed it and grown and developed it. And every improvement anybody in our community makes to it shows up for everybody in our community inside the Discover tab. So that as it improves over time, everybody in our community gets, gets access to it. Now, the way that we built our platform is that every time you look at a strategy, if you like it, you can follow it. By following it, you get an email notification for when it starts and when it ends. And then we show you your portfolio of followed strategies inside of your scanner here so that you can see all the strategies that you're following. And then we send you a daily digest an hour before the market closes to let you know what strategies you're following are starting and ending that day. So what a lot of people end up doing in our community is they simply come over here to the Discover tab. They click on the top strategies or starting strategies and they simply just place at the end of the day the very best strategies that are starting that day. And the results have been absolutely phenomenal because they're able to leverage the brain trust that we've created inside of our community so that it's not just uh, you know, me anymore teaching the strategy. It's now a thousand plus members and quants and wealth managers and hedge fund managers and uh, former floor traders, market makers that are all using our platform now. And every time they go and back test anything, all the results are pushed through our rating system and the best strategies are made available to everybody. It's a really, really cool thing that we're doing. Um, our Discover feature was just launched about three or four months ago. And uh, since then, it's gained so much traction. It's really been off the charts. 
So I wanted to open up this really quickly to see if anybody had any questions about that. Uh, the goal today was to show you the million dollar strategy, which I've done with Apple, uh, basic Heiken Ashi and the MACD combination, but also to show you the power of what could happen when you're a part of a community that's at its foundation is all about transparency, all about validating and backtesting their ideas, and then third, all about sharing those ideas through a validated system so that when you look at the strategies that other people have created, you know, you can backtest them and see the performance of them in real time. Uh, it's a very, very exciting moment for us. Uh, we also think that, you know, at this point, one of my main goals um, in creating this platform is to eliminate the idea that when you load up an indicator on your chart, you're kind of forced to eyeball it. And I think that one of the challenges there is that you end up getting what's called confirmation bias. So if you wanted to buy a stock, a lot of people end up loading indicators and looking at things until they find enough confirmation for wanting to buy the stock, whether the indicator really says it or not. And so by putting it through an actual validation process, they're able to see whether or not it is a good time to buy the stock or whether they're just getting what's called confirmation bias in it, if that makes sense. And so we believe that the time has come for us to have more transparency in the financial charting world. And when you load an indicator on your chart, whether it's an RSI, a MACD, a stochastics, you know, an ADX or, you know, uh, anything else that you're trying to use as a buy and sell signal, you should be able to validate it and make sure that it actually works um, for this stock that you're trading. And so right now we've got about 8,000 tickers on our platform that we're back testing and validating. Um, I'm a big fan of just trading a few. Um, a lot of people have um, kind of aha moments when they come into our platform and see that some of our most successful and profitable traders are only trading a few tickers and they're just continuing to milk them over and over and over again, which is pretty cool. So um, don't see that I had any questions, so we're going to keep on jamming, uh, but that is the baseline of the strategy taking a closer look. So what's possible when you use Wall Street AO strategies as an options trader? This is Marco. He was a break-even trader from California. One of his goals was he wanted more consistency in his trading. Uh, his biggest problem though was his account was flat for many years in a row. He'd make money and lose it. Probably some people here have, have uh, experienced similar. He was really generous and he sent me a screenshot of his account. You can see he'd lose five grand, make it back, lose 10 grand, make it back. He highlighted for me with a red arrow right when he started trading with the pay to cycle method and he had a breakout in his profitability curve. In fact, he made a, about 120 grand in two weeks trading Apple and Alibaba pay to cycles. But more importantly, he created more consistency in his trading and he finally had a positive profitability curve using pay to cycles. He went on to have a six figure trading session in Tesla and another six figure one in Amazon trading pay to cycles. Okay. So uh, here's Lisa and a lot of, a lot of people may say, okay, well, that was with options. What if I don't know options um, or I'm a stock trader? Lisa here is it only trades stocks. And here's what's possible with the pay to cycle method as a stock trader. Uh, Lisa was is a stay-at-home mom from California. Her goal was that she wanted to make more money while working part-time at home. And uh, in the beginning, she really struggled finding good entry and exit points. And the reality was she really had zero knowledge of technical analysis when she first became a member. However, by creating a routine using the pay to cycle method and the MACD that I just showed you, she had an amazing 86% batting average her first year, and she turned 100 grand into $320,000 her first year using the pay to cycle method, and that was just with stock. And here's what Lisa says, uh, before entering a trade, I always refer to my pay to cycle charts inside of Wall Street AO. I got this text message from her just a little bit ago. Uh, she's talking about Apple and Tesla, uh, wishing me good on my Big Sur trip that I was on. And she said, uh, best trading week of her life. She made $30,000 in just six days trading Tesla, Apple, some NVIDIA, and TDOC. I got another note from her. I'm literally just pulling up my phone right now um, from Lisa. Her last text message literally said that and this was on february 2nd of this year she says hola twenty two thousand dollars in profits book so far today sometimes i'm so overcome with gratitude for you and wall street i must say thank you again life changing and positively impacting my family's life every day matt her husband and i need to take a road trip to santa barbara to take you out to lunch although we owe you a lot more than that 
She made 22 grand in a day trading uh, payday cycles. So just a little scope into what's possible uh, when you start to use a strategy that has been tested through all sorts of uh, stress points and actually comes out profitable for you know every year for the last 10 years in a row. Um, I haven't really had a chance to necessarily introduce myself, uh, but here's me. This is a picture of me and my uh, beautiful daughter, Jules. I've got five-year-old twins, Jules and Kelvin. For anybody in the science world, uh, you can kind of hear the names in there. Uh, I'm the CEO of Wall Street AO, the platform that uh, I was using to back test on. And when I first started to trade, the reality is I struggled. And until I discovered the payday cycle method, uh, it was challenging for me to gain any traction in my trading. Uh, once I started using the Heiken Ashi chart and then slowly applying risk parameters to it to eliminate the false starts that I showed you today, uh, you know, trading was tough. But once I started to do that, it really turned around for me. And some golden tips that I could pass along to you today is that uh, number one, please use, use defined buy and sell rules. Um, in my strategy I showed you today, it's very, very clear when to get in and when to get out. There's no wiggle room around it. And the closer that you trade to a strategy that already performs so well, uh, the better your results are gonna be. And as soon as you start trading with emotion or gut or you know any of that stuff uh, that is not necessarily measurable, uh, trading performance starts to uh, get worse. Number two tip is to be a specialist and not a generalist. I really think that it's um, a benefit to you to focus on just a few stocks. If you're not profitable yet or you're just break even or you're just not making as much as you think you need to be, I would take a hard look at how many tickers you're, you're covering and consider just trading one, two or three tickers. Okay, just as a quick example, you know there are people who are more than successful just trading payday cycles in its simplest form in the queues, okay? You can see that this strategy has literally been profitable for, for nine years in a row trading the queues. The queues have beautiful payday cycles. Uh, there's no reason, especially, with, especially if you're just getting started or you're not profitable yet, there's no reason to be looking at 100 stocks every day, looking at charts, flicking around. Uh, really, you, you only need one or two stocks. There's so many benefits to becoming a specialist in a few stocks. You're less likely to be caught off guard. It only takes you about 15 to 20 minutes a day and not all day. And uh, you're going to be a lot more profitable in the process. Please trade by the numbers. If you're going to trade a strategy, it's important to always understand what your risk reward is, what your batting average is. Uh, importantly, your average gain and average loss, which can be used to help you define your buy and sell rules for targets and stops. And I think it's also really important to understand the frequency of your strategy. In our payday cycle case, the win length you can see here is about seven days. You can use that information as a stock trader because if you know the average gain, you can start setting profit targets at that level. If you know how long you're generally in the trade, you can plan for that accordingly, right? And if you're an options trader, you can really leverage that information by using it to help you understand how much time to buy from an expiration standpoint. So uh, you gotta trade by the numbers, and first you have to understand the, those numbers, which is one of our main goals uh, at Wall Street AO. And please, if you're gonna swing trade, use payday cycles as the foundation of your swing trading. And I say that because payday cycles are already happening anyways. You know, when you look at Apple stock and a lot of these other tech stocks, these cycles are already occurring, whether I trade them, whether our community trades them, whether, you know, anybody that I know trades Apple, these cycles are happening. And you can make money off them. They're already happening anyway. So you might as well, you might as well leverage them. Okay. All right. Um, Oh, this is me, got flown out to Phoenix to teach option trading to a group of traders. This is me at the Tasty Trade Studios, Tom Sosnoff, this guy's like a hero of mine, super smart, as many of you know, started Thinkorswim, sold it, started Tasty Trade, he just sold it for a billion dollars to IG Group, uh, very, very nice guy, um, and this is the Wall Street AO platform. Um, I'm going to take some questions here in a moment, and then I've got a couple other things to show you regarding options trading and our new options back tester that's included with what we're doing. But uh, here's the whole story is um, we've created an amazing community, an amazing platform. I'm going to highlight it here for you today. Uh, we really think that um, anybody who's trading or investing in the stock market right now, trading stocks or options, will benefit from the information that we have in our back testing. 
and also from the community that we've cultivated over the years, uh, just a tremendous group of traders that you can gain a lot of insight from. And we have an incredible offer for you to come check us out and check out what we're doing. Essentially, what we want to do is give you your first seven days of access at Wall Street AO for only seven bucks. And if you want to take our Payday Cycle Masterclass, we're going to give you 75% off. It's generally about 200 bucks, and you can get it for like 45 bucks or 49 bucks or something like that. It's pretty, uh, pretty good deal. Um, although the information on it uh, could be worth millions to you, as we saw with Bob W. He made about 1.25 million dollars on it, uh, and in its simplest form, it's quite incredible, really. So here's what you're going to get. Um, a crowdsourced playbook, you get to discover the top performing strategies that our members find using our Discover tool. You get instant strategy validation for stocks and options. I'll show you our options uh, back tester here in a moment. You get email alerts. So anytime you follow a strategy, you're going to get an email uh, that lets you know when the strategy is starting and ending so you never miss a trade again. You're going to get access to some incredible education, over 50 hours of on-demand training included with your membership, daily live interactive training. If I have time, I'll cover how this works. And it's all inclusive from beginner to advanced, no matter where you are in your trading journey, we've got you covered. You're going to get access to our community where you can connect with like-minded individuals to learn and grow together, bounce ideas and theories off of the community to get great responses from intelligent people and new friends, countless number of amazing friendships have been formed. And many of you have probably heard the saying that you become like the five people you spend the most time with, so please choose carefully. It's so true and it, where you get your information from is so important. And that's one of the reasons why we felt like it was a really critical time in the trading world to create a backtesting platform for people so that they can backtest and validate ideas, not only that they come up with, but if they hear about an idea in a workshop like this one from somebody else, or they read about it in a forum or any of those things, they can quickly just plug it into the software, see how well it works with the stock that they're looking at and just get instant validation for it. You'd be surprised at how many times we debunk strategies that just don't work that great. And which might be a bummer for some people, but at the same time, I'd rather see us debunk a, a bad strategy before somebody puts money on it. Um, right? That's part of the process of backtesting. And we've also found some incredible strategies that have been paying huge dividends for our community. If you go to wallstradeo slash seven, you'll be able to get this offer. Um, we also have some cool bonuses here I'm going to cover for you really quickly. The first one is uh, we're really committed that you get up to speed quickly on our platform. So for the first few people who sign up right now, we're going to give you a one-on-one -on -one fast track action call. This is not a sales call. This is specifically an onboarding call with one of our trading specialists. They've been trading for over 30 years and it's specifically tailored to your needs. The reality here, and everybody can attest to this, is we all have a different background. You know, I have a different experience than you do. You have a different experience than I do. Different amount of capital, different amount of time to trade. Everybody's in a different situation. And so it's really important to you get this call because it's tailored to you and your needs. And so they're going to walk you through the whole platform and help you set up some strategies so that you can get started. In fact, we found that members who take this call uh, get about three to four times the value out of our platform right off the get go. So you're going to get a fast track action call. You're also going to get our options back testing software that has now been released absolutely free. This includes the data. So a lot of people ask us like, this looks like a lot of data. How much is all the data? Uh, the good thing is the data is included free. So we have our stock back tester, which I showed you here. And whenever you add anything to it, you get these instant results over here, right? Now, these data points generate what we call the buy and sell rules of our strategy, right? They tell you when to get in and when to get out. The results here are for stock trading only. This shows you how much money you would have made if you just bought one share. So if you bought 100 shares or 1,000 shares, you just multiply it out. Now, a lot of people would then ask, well, Micah, I don't trade stock. You know, I maybe have a smaller account or I just want to leverage my money. What would have happened instead of buying stock here? What would have happened if I bought calls? Now, what would have happened if I would have bought calls 30 days out or 90 days out or one strike in the money or one strike out of the money? All legitimate questions. However, they take a tremendous amount of time to go through and back test to see how effective it would be and which one actually performs the best. And then you could go down the rabbit hole even more if you're an advanced trader and say, well, what would have happened if I bought about calls, but I would have sold puts to fund it? How would have that worked out? All of those questions are 
totally legitimate. You should be asking those types of questions. So we reached out to the Chicago Board of Options Exchange and let them know that we wanted to build the first world's first perfectly reactive options backtester based on actual options data from them, not just theoretical data. And they said a lot of people have tried and all, every one of them has failed to do it. And um, well, we said, we're gonna have a go at it anyways, we've got a great team. Uh, and so I put together a really cool configuration matrix for our engineering team and they built our backtesting platform. It's all from real data from the Chicago Board of Options Exchange and it's perfectly reactive, which means when you click the test, you get results instantly. You don't have to wait around for it. And in the same way we built our strategy backtester, where you can sandwich different things together and then get the results from it, you could do the same thing here. Okay, so if you wanted to sell a put, perfect, sell a put. You wanna buy a call, add a call to it. It sandwiches the results and gives you the sandwich results here for you. If you wanted to dig into each trade, you're like, wow, this was a 95% trade. Let's dig in here to see what exactly happened to generate this return. You could see the delta on open and close. You can see what entry triggered it. You can see everything that you need to know about it. And again, it's because of our unique license with the Chicago Board of Options Exchange, we're able to get all this data. We store it in a way that makes it instantly fetchable so that when you change anything here, right, even if it's just a strike price, right, it basically reruns all the calculations for you and gives it to you here. It's, it's actually quite a tremendous engineering feat that we're really proud about. And so if you're interested in trading options, this is going to be one of the fastest ways that you can actually backtest and validate your ideas with options before putting money to work. And we're now including that absolutely free with your membership and we're giving you the data for free too, which is pretty cool. You're going to get a cool trading with indicators course uh, teaching you how each of the indicators that are back testable in our platform work. And what I've done inside the Discover tool is I've cherry picked my favorite strategies and I put them together in a PDF for you, uh, calling it my top 10. So I basically went through our Discover tool, spent a couple of days doing it, and I found the best strategies that I liked the best that uh, were meaningful to me and I put them together in a document for everybody to help them get started. You're going to get the document and you're going to get a strategy workshop that covers it uh, in detail, which is pretty cool. So Wall Street AO slash seven. We've got a few minutes here. I, I had about 45 minutes for today's presentation. I had a lot to cover. So apologies if I talked kind of fast, but uh, uh, that's the story. Uh, world's fastest stock and options back tester, crowdsource strategies for everybody in our community. We now have wealth managers, hedge fund managers, former floor traders, market makers, all sorts of people who uh, are just getting started trading and very advanced traders joining Wall Street AO. We're growing incredibly fast. Uh, we're so excited about what we're doing and the results shows uh, just like the case study I showed you with Bob W who you know, made over a million bucks uh, using a strategy that he paid a couple hundred dollars at Wall Street AO for. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, quick little highlight from Matt. He says, I want to thank you so much for providing an amazing platform for us. Since joining Wall Street AO, I've tripled my options account and I've been constantly learning so much. Again, thank you. Um, for more of the professional asset manager side, uh, here's another message that we received. What you and your team has built is pretty incredible. We begin using it as a company and since our membership, we haven't been able to put it down and they have $200 million in managed assets that they're uh, now using Wall Street AO to help them decide when to get in and out of trades it's it's uh, kind of amazing so uh, i know i only have a couple minutes left so i'll see if there's any questions that come up uh, wall studio slash seven uh, you can get seven days of access for only seven bucks plus uh, after you sign up you'll get a little note that says if you'd like to take the pay to cycle master class you can do that with 75 percent off which is pretty cool uh, let me just walk you through that really quickly inside the platform we have our charting page this is where your stock and options backtesting is gonna live. This is where all your performance is gonna live. This is where you can follow strategies to get your emails. This is our community where people are posting things throughout the day. And like I mentioned, our community's grown so big that we now have six trading rooms. Um, this is our university where all of our live sessions throughout the day are hosted and recorded for transparency. Um, all of your courses are gonna live, like the free one we're giving you called Trading with Indicators and the personal favorite, my Pay to Sickle Masterclass that covers uh, the Heike Nashi strategy, how to use it to read acceleration, deceleration of momentum, how to read it uh, and use my favorite setup, the Doji, how to do probability stacking, my success framework, how to rate your trade, because 
The reality is not every trade is uh, rated equally. And then how to use payday cycles for options. We have several live sessions throughout the day, the whole Discover tab, and uh, pretty cool platform. We're really pleased with it, and so are our members. If there are any questions, let me know. Seven days for seven bucks, and what I'm gonna ask everybody to do, as soon as you sign up today, click the question mark icon right here. From here, I'm click on. Get One-on-One -on -one Demo. We have live help for you, so when you become a member of Wall Studio, like I mentioned, we really want to make sure that you get walked through the platform in a way that is specifically matched to your needs, your timing, your account size, everything like that. So um, we do something that's pretty unique. And again, this is not a sales call. This is just 100% value here. We've noticed that the members get about three times the value when they do this. We have, uh, you can see how quickly they fill up. We're already filled up for this week. First available one is this Monday, so hop on the uh, question mark icon, click get one-on-one -on -one demo, and you can schedule yourself for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of next week and uh, get that call scheduled. So it looks like... I have a question for you, Micah. Uh, okay, Alex, okay, cool. wants, Alex wants to know, do we trade on our normal brokerages and use your site for developing strategies? Yes, that is exactly what you do, Alex. Uh, we're not a broker, so you're still gonna use your own platform for trading, whether it's Robinhood, whether it's TD Ameritrade. Um, yep. And then a, a question that we also get uh, from time to time, I'll just cover really quickly. After the seven days, our membership is $140 a month. It rolls into that automatically. Uh, the majority of our members are an annual membership, which saves you 40%. Uh, you could do that at any point to swap to annual uh, inside the website or just email us. We have one-on-one -on -one chat support. But yeah, after the seven days, it's 140 a month. Um, alternatively, like I mentioned, most people are on annual membership uh, on our platform because it saves them a bunch and they love what we're doing and they want to be a part of it. So just in full transparency, that's our pricing. Uh, you can see it and view it yourself at wallstradio slash pricing. It's the same for everybody. Uh, so, yep. Perfect. All right. We posted up the offer. Get seven days of access for only $7 and then you get 75% off the Payday Cycle Masterclass. That's Excellent. pretty phenomenal. Thank you Thank for you. joining us today, Mike. I really appreciate it. And I really, uh, I'm, I'm going to look forward to having you back again in the future there. So awesome. Um, well, thank you so much for having me. Appreciate it. Thanks. All right, everybody. That's what we've got for today. This was a presentation of tradersexclusive.com. We're going to have the webinar posted up on our website. You just go to tradersexclusive.com forward slash archived underscore webinars dot. Uh, no dot com on that. <laughs> anyway, this is Sherry. I've been your host and I'm saying have a good day and uh, safe trades. Bye-bye.